You know what their other catchphrase is? Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. I like- responded to them. Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Yeah. I told them to <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. Pour the Arcadian tryst, Angus. Ah! You fucking idiot. I've never made is he a b-? No, he's cool. I don't know where that was. Uh. Throw me a b-. no, Throw a me a b-. Will, throw me a b-. Will, it's a liege. <laughs> um, for f***'s sake. So- oh, f- oh, Jesus. <laughs> and he won't even f*** you. Oh, my God. He said it. I would argue this is not bingo. Because what this is is a f- game. This we is a f- game. This is a proper game of f- And, and also, I'm not, I don't want to encourage people to f- at 3 o'clock in the morning when the e is on. Oh, right. No, no, he's doing f- Because otherwise we're going to end up on They're done. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Back Pocket for Thursday, the 17th of June, live from the Loki Studios. I am Nick Fuckboy Richardson. <laughs> and oh. my mouth has been assaulted mm. by a, bur- not a burrito. Three spicy tacos. Three soft oh, you, taco. You put a you put a crazy sauce on your tacos. Mm. Mm. I, I normally, I normally have a normal sauce on my tacos, but my mouth. I ate these tacos forty five minutes ago. Still on fire. Speaking of still on fire, I am joined by Gus, who's got a potty mouth and is going to do his best to rinse it out tonight. I oh, think, you know, okay. I'm better myself. Has it got a, anything to do with the fact that my family's watching at home? No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm just a show. good oh. person. So oh. sorry that Nick introduced himself as Nick Fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could put a cleaner tone over the whole show, but so no, sorry ruined that already. To Thanks Goose's for that. Mom. Mm. I only speak the truth. Uh, <laughs> and I am here. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, because you weren't last week. No, yeah. no. God, thank goodness. You may, you may we went off. That's why the beefs were happened last yep. week. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm also here. And we're great. We're really glad about that. Pete, <laughs> to be fair, Pete's crook. Pete's a little crook. Yeah, I gave him, so, I gave him what I had. Yeah, and he still came into work, which is we need him here to run the cameras, and he really shouldn't have come in here. So hence the brains, Fine. a little on the fuzz. Huh? There it is. <laughs> uh, of course, we aren't alone because we're also joined by everyone's favourite, Little Will. Little Will. It's me, Little Will. <laughs> I was prepared. <laughs> what was happening? Has the microphone been over was, there the whole time? Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. That's probably why. Uh, hey, uh, what's going on with that T-shirt? I like that T-shirt. What is that T-shirt? It is from Jaws. I oh, oh, I okay. like a good, mm, nice. incredibly obscure yes. vintage yes. reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've just got yeah. this tonight, which was just, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, I like uh, it. Which which I, that was sent in. Wasn't that was sent in. Yeah. Uh, yes. I hate when people but wear... you it with a jacket. So it just says, Hanks. No, it says, good. <laughs> it says, lift your mic. It says, Anate. Anate. <laughs> or Eight. People I have an a t-shirt eight. that I really love that says Tomboy on it in big <clears throat> block letters, but sure. it says Tom and then boy underneath. Mm. And a lot of the time you can only see Tom. So it looks like I'm just like in love with someone called Tom and not Peter. Yeah, right. So and that's not good. Problematic enough. t-shirt. And I'm in what, love with someone anyone? called Triangle Circle X. X- <laughs> what if I made you a t-shirt that said Peter Boy? <laughs> that sounded okay. <laughs> Gus's right. family, stop watching. <laughs> oh dear! No, 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 no! It, look, let's let's keep it on track. Cause I'm like, trying. I don't know. No, you, <laughs> this is on up. track. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Yes, I would true. say this is about as on track as this show goes. That's true. Exactly. Uh, speaking of on track, you're all on track for a game-filled evening because we are just going to be talking. About video games. There's no draw a character from memory. There's no tie us up with sex rope. There's no party at all. Your family is watching. Yeah, I know. I'm telling them there will be no sex rope. So okay, right, right. Yeah, but you're, then you're letting them know that there has been sex rope on the show previously. Just, uh, Pete, give me my single. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> How, I meant to fix that so it was slightly less frightening, uh, but I forgot. It's the nipple tassels just really do pop out when it gets to Nick's close up. So, yeah, it's good Why stuff. Why is that thing not on? What thing? What thing? The, the uh, Call of Duty oh, thing. It's going to tinker. He's going to mess with stuff. Oh, it's okay. going over. Every, you know, uh, we, got a, we got a Will who's just sitting there, like, not even getting his microphone ready. We can't even cross to him because he's tinkering over there. I can there you tinker. Go. I know how to tinker. Tinker away, Will. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Will, give us some Give us some different shots. All right. There's yep. a little bit of this. Are you gonna, there's oh, a little bit of this. God, he's moving things again. No. What are you doing? No. Look, look at that tight oh, booty. Oh, yeah. That's a tomboy booty, that is. 
Some some it's lady me. some lady married well. Oh, that's good. Just adjust yeah. them. Adjust them. I like that. They it's could be me. tied together. I married some well. Form of rope. With me. Sex. Sex rope. Rope is full. Oh, good point. Uh, well, <sighs> okay. Now we've got. That's my move. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that was, as you can see from last week, <laughs> that table. We need a, a tabletop more than ever now. Maybe we should open. Maybe that should be a stretch goal on the Patreon. Maybe we open up a new. T- You're a wild man. Oh. Maybe we could open up a new tier to get the nice Our pockety. Because I really want a pockety oh. shaped table. Yeah, I'm promising it, and That'd I will be deliver. Cool. Because it's a, he's he's perfectly table shaped. <clears throat> what? Yeah, I posted I, pro- I posted a coffee table in the Slack channel where I've also put couches, but I didn't realize that we had a custom table in the works. Yeah, we just need I'm to find someone it. to make it. What? I've d- have I died? <laughs> I've died again. <laughs> well, I guess all I'm saying is that we uh, we recorded an episode of our Loki podcast this morning that you did not have time to upload, let alone <laughs> learn how to make a table. <laughs> <laughs> And we I should have just <laughs> Kimba instead of uploading media. Yeah, you're right. Pay someone to laser cut. I want to make it. Mm. I'm going to carve it out of large pieces of cedar. You can keep that one at your birch. house and we'll keep the good one here. <laughs> Mine's the prototype. Cedar or birch. Cedar or birch. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know, do you know do you why? Know how expensive lumber is right now? I was going to say, like. <laughs> also, to get a big sheet of it, that's really hard. Just, uh, It'd yeah. have to be like MDF or whatever. Just you wouldn't get a, a sheet of it. Yeah. I could do that. Once my family moves out, it's I can not turn one it into piece. A room again. You have to make the piece that's bigger. Yeah. One big piece. Yeah. No, you have to make One big piece. You need, to, you need to put them together. Jigsaw the shape, routed the features into it, rooted the features, whatever that thing is, and I'm done. Give what it if a we just, great. What if we just use this table and then get a magnifying glass in the sun and then do like a burn drawing? Now probably beat, okay, okay, yeah, probably yeah, beat yeah, into yeah, mine yeah. regardless. Yeah. So, yeah. And then if it's shit, we can put mine on top. It could work. It could work. I'll stain work. it with wine first. Will, can you just, while we're chatting, can you just start Googling some woodworkers to make us a table? Yep. <laughs> bah. Bah, indeed. Um, uh, lovely to have you guys with us. Thank you very much. Uh, a, a delight. Thursday rolls around, but once a week, uh, we would have, I wanted to make this into a poem and I couldn't really run Aww. with anything else. So just, let's play just... The tw- play the whistle. Where'd the train go? Frames. Yeah, we 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 actually no, we, we moved the bookshelf. The set. Can I? Just I wish like, we could get. I wish we could get a shot of our new. Uh, I'm in love with the. We've we've done some some Marie condoing, and I think we're feeling very satisfied. Sorry, I just want to add that I know Pete's a little crook. He's not as crook as I made out, but all his statements sound even more unwell. Like, where's the whistle gone? We had a whistle. <laughs> where's the? We had a whistle gone? before. <laughs> and I, was I swear like, it. The poor guy's high on coffee. The legit <laughs> Zeke said, "I know someone who can build the custom table." Legit Zeke, which is exciting. I know. And some people have offered. It's really lovely. I, I just I want to have a go at it. If it's shit, we will, you know. Yeah. So legit, Zeke, if you just send me those details. <laughs> you have little faith. Uh, I'm gonna order it. What? It's going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. It's no. You I, get it's on the. the it's freaking... not that I don't think you can do it. You are, and I mean this. I mean this from the bottom of my heart, totally genuinely. One of the most talented people I've ever met, and definitely one of the most talented people I've ever worked with, by far. I'll allow it. Without mm-hmm. a doubt. You have no time. And I know this because I work with you. Mm. You do not have the time to make a table? This weekend. Really? It's going to happen. All right. <laughs> if it doesn't happen this weekend, then... What a waste <laughs> of your hand. Family's cutting, moving out. Who's cutting PSVR show? <laughs> <laughs> Will, you want to make a table yeah. with me? <laughs> <laughs> And there it is. Oh. You wouldn't even give him the editing. No, I'm not of meant the to thing. be doing that on the weekend, am I? You weren't even going to do the editing of the thing. You were like, you wanted to hand <laughs> off the table making. That's how possessive you are of the editing. <laughs> <laughs> you just know how to fucking make I a know. table. I know. I know. And he does know how to edit, but every edit goes like, you know what, you should change. Yeah, but if anything, carving a ta- it's editing Kimber into a table. Oh, fucking hell. No? Oh, incredible. Okay. <laughs> this was the only Kimber. way that this show possibly could have started, and oh, I'm glad God. for it. Uh, we've got a massive uh, show of mainly E3 talk. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the games that have come out in a little segment that we like to call... <laughs> to say what you'll be playing. Brought to you by Brent Jones, a.k.a. Loki Cats. A roller coaster of a up and down you went through there. Well, when you say... How many episodes were we up to? When you do it 40 times... It's true. You want to add a little... This is our 40th episode. I think we did 20 last year, and this is up 20 for this year. Hey, look at that. We may have done really? 22 last year, or 21, yes, with the... with the the Loki like segment from the beginning? Yep, from the beginning. Yesterday, yeah. we yeah. were yeah. watching the Xbox showcase. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Remember? On my yeah. birthday. Of course. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's been a year it's since been, that. Yeah. Well, it was my birthday. Yeah, it was, yeah. It. Which is July. 
I'm here, by the way. <laughs> <Just checking too. laughs> July, right? Yeah, 24th of July. Don't forget it. That's uh, yeah, when we get to that, that'll be a year. You, no, you need to. You need. You, you need, need to count down every day. Yeah, based you need on a something. Date. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, me saying a mere X days until my birthday is something that people just like know. So it like subconsciously mm. they know that they need to quickly buy me gifts. You're a monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just practical. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that was a that Getting was close. that was a good stream. And that's yeah, all we had, should, yeah, we should do a big year uh, anniversary sleepover show or something. Cute, I love no, that. No, I said it live. We've talked about it before, but it's like I do like sleep. You wouldn't get any here. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that's the last time we were in studio until 4 a.m. We uh, watched video game press conferences. That's so true. that's, that's true. the kind of wild ride you could expect here on a back pocket sleepover. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Loki Cat, for sponsoring the show the entire time since then. Uh, never before have I seen a person so willingly uh, take a match to a pile of money. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Like Loki Cat And then have not a bad word spoken about them the whole time The whole time at all uh, Okay, let's talk about the games that we've been playing Because uh, we'll start off with the big one oh, That yeah. everyone in the room has been playing And Angus, you are, I suppose, the keeper and bastion of for this month I am, however, I probably made the least amount of progress uh, Because I'm streaming Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart The game everyone talked about came out last Friday, I believe mm -hmm. uh, And gosh, it's a joy Gosh, it's a wonderful, happy, Saturday morning cartoon joy to be playing. Uh, I'm playing this as part of the game club. I've done three so far. I believe you, Nick, and Pete have finished it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good work. Uh, Steph, Will, have you're you? just started. I finished it I'm as just... well. Will's finished it also. Oh, Will wow. as well. Sorry. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, and Steph, you're just getting underway as well. I'm just starting, but nice. um, it's already hitting all of the kind of nostalgic notes of previous Ratchet experiences in the park. Good. Well, yeah, uh, I took this one as lead, even though I haven't played a Ratchet and Clank game before. Um, and it's won me over straight away. Uh, uh, there's a lot to love. There's something nice about playing... I, I don't think I've played a, uh, a, a platformer action kid... Well, I keep saying kids game, and it's not a kids game. It, it, it totally feels like a kids game. Yeah, yeah. I think it's ex okay. except for the fact that there's a bunch of guns. It, it's it feels it's a like, bunch a, of guns like a playable Pixar movie for sure. Yeah, I think. That, well, and then Pixar films aren't for kids anymore, really, are they? So that comparison of saying like you, Pixar films are f directed at kids, but they're for everyone. Mm. And in the same way, I feel like this is directed at kids, but it's for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, I, th I think yeah. that's that's a fair comparison. So it yeah. feels lovely to play in that sense. And coming off the back of, I guess, Resi and maybe some darker games I've played, it's just really nice to be playing something that's just got so so much polish, not only in just like uh, writing and gameplay and all that kind of stuff, but literally it's the shiniest fucking game I've ever played. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a great opening. I mean, that's all I can really talk about at the moment. But sure. like, as far as an intro to a game goes, and I feel like this is fairly consistent with a lot of Ratchet and Clank games is they give you a lot of stuff from the get-go. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I find it really frustrating when you're playing a game and they're really kind of dragging out the drip feed of new gear mm. and guns and abilities and stuff like that. And they, they've done a really good job of being like, here is uh, here are all the places you're going to go and here's like three guns already. I almost appreciate not knowing much about this lore or this, these characters and going in and you're right, it does kick off at a sort of breakneck speed, but it also, I, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to meet a bunch of characters slowly and learn about where they're from. If anything, I'm meeting alternate versions of them which happens pretty early mm -hmm. on and mm -hmm. they're for people who are like their fan favorites they're all like oh this is a twist on something I like and I'm like I just like this character mm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm finding that the whole way through is uh, again someone with little to no hands on with um, a ratchet or a clank um, and so everything feels new but it also feels obviously I'm assuming new for people who like the series because they're doing a bloody good job of making it next gen and it's nice it just feels good to be playing something that is the next gen built from the ground up totally yeah. yeah I mean hardware. yeah we're, we're obviously going to talk about it like we say every time when we do these uh, we'll do a full spoiler uh, breakdown analysing every part of the game that we liked and hated when we do the wrap up at the end of the month um, that episode but um, yeah for now really positive what did you think of it because uh, you and I haven't actually spoken about it <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's like I think Gus is right about everything he said. I will say I found yeah. it. I, I will say I found it pretty boring for the most part. Like mm -hmm. it just is like very basic as a video game, and I was a little bit disappointed, particularly after coming off the back of It Takes Two, that it was It Takes Two is a heaps more creative game yeah. in terms of what you do as a player yeah. and how the world works. This is like sells itself as being something, and I don't think. I don't think fully does the the rift thing as a as a mechanic that's exceptionally exciting and yeah. new. It, it is it's 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 sold well at the top. 
the end of the game is uh, is the most fun part of the game to play. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And I wish there was a bit more of the way that the game works at the end, uh, yeah. peppered throughout the middle. Because I do feel like it was very just like hold the trigger and strafe yeah. for the I, whole game. I yep. guess, But I guess that is the kind of um, the difficulty of creating an all ages game is that you need to make something that is that is going to appeal to a lot of people, but still kids need to be able to play it and mm. not have too many totally. mechanisms. And like, you know, and I say that I found it pretty boring to play, but it was like, I, I did play through the whole thing in a couple of sittings. So yeah. it was like, it was it was, engaging. It's, it's engaging yeah. enough to be like, cool, let's like see what happens next. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just feel like it could have been more, interesting game design wise. I, I wonder if it's going to feel this way a few more hours in for me, but I, I do think your comparison to It Takes Two is totally appropriate, especially j- since uh, it hasn't been long since that game came out. Mm. And while I loved every moment of that game and I treasured the fact that I got to play it with someone as you guys did, as Nick and I did, the involvement in getting to play that game, uh, both in the setup of having to f- play it with someone else and then you can't switch off playing it takes two it was like you needed to both be paying full attention Mm -hmm. to what you were doing and there's a little part of me that's uh well actually probably a big part of me that's enjoying playing this game on some form of cruise control like it was saying how it's a great streaming game because it's like yes all right because i was about to say you know you're streaming no which is great because it's it's like i'm enjoying playing a game you don't have to you don't have to think about it too i'm not thinking too hard about it i'm enjoying chatting while i do it uh at little moments of story in between but it's definitely not not asking me at least so far to do anything that was overly involved. And so that's a reason I'm liking it, but that's just good timing for when I'm playing a game. So, yeah. I think that it, um, uh, I, I loved it and I had a ton of fun playing it. I definitely agree, Pete, that it's like, I think it's just a very polished version of what I feel like Ratchet always does. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel like it's a particular, even though the the first the opening you go oh god yeah and also all the marketing of the game with the riffs and stuff I really <laughs> thought the game would be more about jumping between worlds all the time and doing yeah. stuff yeah, yeah, and it's too. really more like the riffs are just these like it's a, a, a grapple it's, be, it's like sort of yeah 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 teleport. it's it's literally like it's no more advanced than blinking in Dishonored yes. Totally. It's like you just move from one part of the map to the other. Yeah. Except for the big feature pieces at the beginning but and they the are end. Feature and then, pieces, yeah. so therefore, they, they are a doing it in engine, rails. But they yeah. feel your gamer brain goes, this is a cutscene. But I would also say there's a couple engines. of levels, and I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, that involve crystals that do a similar kind of thing. It's it, And it's weird because it's, it's not really the rift. It's yeah. like it's doing something else, but it it's doing the impressive thing of going... You haven't gotten to it yet, no. but it does. It does a thing where I go, "All oh, right, yeah, this definitely wasn't possible before." Mm. Um, I and just, and yeah. I liked the uniqueness of what it was doing there. I thought Me that too, was super yeah. cool. I just like and and also like this is a weird game to compare it to, but when they remastered Halo Combat Evolved with that button that you could swap between old graphics and new, yep. yeah, right. It was like yeah. the fact that you could do that whenever you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> was like that's two different like engines flicking between yeah. on a dime. It was really like that was a a like groundbreaking tech moment. And uh, and I kind of expected to be able to have a gun that gave me rift control. That's what I yeah. thought. To be able well. to control yeah. it myself yeah. in that way, and I think that would have been interesting. To have that mirrored world, to be, be able, able to pull through it where you wanted and do a fun little like I'm going to make a because that world is the through. that world where you're traveling between dimensions mm. is the most interesting yeah, way right. to yeah is the most interesting world yeah and and it's just it's refined to that one. It's I mean, it's also uh, it's also hung up on the idea that this is from a series that exists, so therefore there are tropes and a, a feel to how the game plays that needs to be replicated in the series. Mm. And those are the people have mentioned in the chat. Those are the repetitive combat areas and stuff like that. There's only so much they can add to that. With it still being a PS One game, yeah. two was there a Ratchet and Clank on PS? Oh uh, no, PS Two. Do you, think, PS2. Do you PS2. think it's an idea that they considered and were like, "This is too difficult to implement," or do you think it was just like they had come up with the idea that they have, and then they've just the marketing team went a bit? I still feel like the series is always fairly linear in, in narrative and, and scope, so I I think they would have just said, "This is how we're going to apply it." I yeah. just think okay. I just think, and it gave them the capacity to make like the most polished next gen thing out right yeah. like yeah. it is like it's oh, such by a far. like it's such a refined beautiful thing it's like yeah there are bugs and like <laughs> people like you know we're finding i had a game you, like yeah, a console yeah. crash uh, at one point as well but it was like that stuff happens in everything it's yeah. like when you talk about the polish of a game it's like this is so so you know nothing's perfect but this is very very close yeah. to being like a perfectly put together game yeah. and and the and the base and there's nothing wrong with like the base ratchet and clank gameplay i feel like so just 
doing that. It's been a while since we've got... Like, 2016 was a remake of the first one. <laughs> or, 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 like, a like a response to the first one, almost. So, it's it's been ages since we got, like, a fully original one. And, yeah. I yeah, I had a total blast playing it. But I, I do think that, like, once I got past the first stage... And then I got a few hours into the game. I'm like, oh, right. This is not exactly what I was expecting, but I'm still enjoying my time here. But <clears throat> whatever. Yeah. Like, but I, I think most of all, like you, I'm just like, God, something that actually harnesses the power of this thing that sits there. And then I'm not yeah. actually playing PS4 game. <laughs> and on. you mentioned as well, like there's part of me, and this is very specific to how I w- I'm enjoying the game, but there is part of me that played a lot of games as a, as a kid that tr- that wanted games to look better and feel better than they did even back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like played, I'm going to use a weird example, but like Jet Force Gemini, N64 game that wanted to be amazing and played like balls. Rips. Yeah, it was, right. But it, it re- I don't remember playing it because I was so it young. Wasn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember playing it and being like, it <clears throat> wants to be better than it could be. There were screenshots in magazines that looked better and then it was like, now I see what it was. And part of me is playing this game going like, it's just scratching that itch of being like, ah, oh, you know, like twelve year old me would have just been fucking loving this, and that's helping me enjoy it now. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Will, you're twelve years old. Did you love I this? Uh, I think exactly that. I just was playing it, and it felt like the game that I play in a public library that was on like a PlayStation Two, just sitting there. <laughs> uh, like I would, I would. It's, it's what does that mean? Hey, <laughs> We're I, about I, to I find out. Know. We're about to find out. Well, no. Well, I, I mean. It, it's probably because there was a PlayStation 2 with Ratchet and Clank in, your public in my public life. <laughs> right, okay. That's, that's I thought mine was specific. specific and he's like, <laughs> what? Oh God. Like, you asked for an explanation. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, I had lots of fun. I, I think uh, the, the Saturday morning cartoon thing pulled me through it even more because the, as much as the characters are pretty thin, like they are pretty nothing, there's some nice character moments later on in the game between certain... Definitely. Yeah, and there's like interesting relationships I didn't expect to exist in this mm. story as well. Yeah. Um, so there's some fun... And Will, who will only listen to scores and music, this has got some phenomenal music. It's got uh, some cool mix-ups, doesn't it? Like, I've only heard bits of it, but there is that kind of, like, uh, 80s synth... Uh, which is... It's uh, Mark cool. Mothersbaugh. Wait, it is? Ragnarok and, like... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, it sounds like him, and then yeah, I was like, yeah. don't pronounce his name, you'll get it wrong. Uh, but, go. yeah, it is actually him too. Oh, I love it. Literally that- everything made episode? right now ties back in some way to Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you cannot okay make a piece of pro- media yeah, yeah, that yeah. is yeah. not yeah. in some way... Is there much in the way of, like, of puzzle solving? Because I remember, because my favourite that I played was uh, was Crack in Time. That was one that <clears> sticks out in my memory. Like, that's the one that I remember the most of the ones that I played. There are puzzle elements and they are yeah. underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there's nothing where you're like the he's a wow. he's a brain twister. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, although the the clank the clank there's a whole oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got series of clank levels. levels that are uh, they're underwhelming but that's they, where they I, that's what that's for me where I was like this would maybe be cool if I hadn't just played It Takes Two or even yes. I think even the dungeons in um Immortals were yeah, more yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's right. funny. I was They're very basic. As I was playing, I was like, "This is uh, like I think that this is in my top five games that I've played this year so far. Mm-hmm. Played about forty games. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. But uh, if it Noja, wasn't Noja, for Noja, yeah. Ratchet, if it wasn't for <laughs> it takes two, this would be much higher on the list. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, to that again, I say like I, I feel like um, I feel like Immortals Phoenix puzzles probably even maybe just a bit too much for for young kids to be kind of taking on. I don't know. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah it's maybe, like, yeah. and so, so this, I, this yeah. is. But I feel like they're breath. Like they were no harder than Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was interesting because it was physics based. But again, I, I think an older audience appreciated them more than the game. Yeah. The puzzles here yeah. have to they not ha- have the openness to be like, there's multiple <laughs> solutions. They have to be. And that's solutions. definitely a yeah. big positive of this game is that there's n- never anything blocking you from having the next bit of fun. Yeah. Like story wise, it's like these characters exist across dimensions, and they just never even bother trying to go like. Oh, the, you couldn't have shared guns. Guns. Example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, just keep having fun, yeah. guys. And also, <laughs> I think with those puzzle things, I believe you can actually skip them. Yeah, straight from the pause menu. You Anything can? That yeah. Really? Like main yeah, game so if they're, if they're yeah. too hard, you yeah. can actually yeah, just right. go, oh, no, I don't yeah. want to deal with this right now. Yeah, yeah right. So. Hey, random question. Was there a game called Ratchet & Clank Up? Up your arsenal? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I called that out and someone was like, Gus, well, because no, because like, <laughs> I thought this game had quite a lot of cheek to it. it well, no, because that's the thing that a cheek and well 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 put, because there's always a butt play. So there's a crack in time, and that's oh, yeah. a, both a crack mm-hmm. in time, like the expression, and also like a like a butthole crack. There's <laughs> up your arsenal. And then the thing with this is that it's called uh Rift Apart and it's ripped a fart. No, it's rip what? Rift, rift a fart. Rift a fart. Rift a fart. Ratchet and clank. 
Rift apart, ripped right. apart. That's what, what it is. But isn't it playing off ripped apart? Yes, of course it is. But that's what makes it clever. I'm trying to be clean mouth this evening. You're not helping. But you brought it up, butt man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. I thought I had something else to say about it, but we'll say. It was something about uh, you did butts. Was it boobs? Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was butts. It was uh, how the the butt cheeks are the boobs of the backside. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> good to be looked at. <laughs> that. Moving on, Will, you played something else. I did, and it's uh, more wholesome fun, but no butts, unfortunately. Aww, um, but little fishies. There are fishies. It's a, a demo for I Am Fish. <laughs> Sick. Uh, <laughs> which uh, is... It's a copyright. <laughs> yeah. It's like they looked at Finding Nemo, and even the whole premise of this, this is made by the devs that did uh, I Am Bread, <laughs> so it's a similar kind of thing. You're a... I mean, okay. This is an IM game. Yeah. Kojima, <laughs> Kojima would definitely have already it's like the patent on this. <laughs> sure. So in this demo, it's only like 10 minutes long. So it's basically, it's a single level. You've seen the door, you got to get out the door. Uh, yeah. And you kind of just roll around in a fishbowl. And it's quite adorable. Uh, and like visually... Great, but the uh, oh, there's there's no mechanics at play here. It's well, literally roll along a, a surface. Is there anything fish. more to the yeah, demo right. than the rolling? Because I was keeping an eye out for this one. Yeah, uh, and I saw more in a, in a gameplay demo. Well, oh, dead. Uh, this is this dying. is trauma traumatic. It's every really time. traumatic. Like. Uh. Oh, oh, you get to do the dying of, little... Oh, of look at his eyes closing. No, oh, no. No. oh, no. Oh, you actually die. Oh, God. Flat out die. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, no, the, the actual game seems to feature, like, open waters, and so there's, there's a lot more... It's basically, like, man Save eater. Save that other fish. That game last week. Um, no. Gus. Uh, the, the one last week. Your man eater. Game. Man eater. Yeah. Man eater. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. It's basically yeah. that, but with Nemo. Um, <laughs> so, but eventually, nice. when you get outside, you can see, like, oh. Oh, the areas of... Wonderful. Yeah. It's, it's like you're rolling through a town in The Sims or it's something. Cute as. And uh, like, yeah, obviously oh. you can see the ocean from there. Mm. Uh, this, I think, was like the team that did it. They were they made like a bunch of prototype games and released them after all Bread, after I Am Bread, yep. and I think I Am Bread might have even fallen in the same sort of uh, development cycle that they said, "Hey, here's a bunch of little tech." No, games I Am Bread was made. a polished idea. For <laughs> <laughs> that was someone's dream game, <laughs> and people downloaded the demos for free and said which ones they liked and voted, and then based on that they went cool. They put them, they took them all off, and then said we're going to polish the oh, one that, no, we, that got the best response. The full gameplay demo from this will that I did see had like the. First First fish had to leap into a, a cup of coffee and then into a puddle mm. and then out the window into sort of spots Amazing. of puddles a around and like just use interesting ways to stay in uh, a submerged. In liquid. Whereas yeah. this looks far more like a Rube Goldberg machine or something <laughs> like which yeah, is freaking adorable. Yeah, it was because I was super excited. I, I, I saw those trailers as well, so I was expecting a bit more from the demo. It really is just this linear journey to the ocean. Yeah, I was going to say, there's not like multiple paths that you well, could have I, taken. I, there, there's kind of one diverging path. This is actually the second time I played it and this is the alternate way but it still got me oh to... Oh god, that, that fish! Oh, he's okay. He's fine. He's just going upside down a little. Uh, it still got me to like the same place. It's not like... Yeah, yeah right. There's different solutions to the puzzle. Because um, the only other thing I saw was like they had different fish you could pick from and they had it in the other demo. Again, this might have all been scrapped. They had like a flying fish so you'd jump off the roof and you could glide your way oh. down. Oh. So maybe they've yeah, ditched right. all that to go, hey, it's it's a super monkey ball game. No, uh, well, they just put out a demo with no, yeah, the, one gimmick. There's, yeah. Definitely, yeah. there's yeah. definitely still foot... Like, Are you going to make it? Because I'm kind of hanging on you got it well i will say what's about to happen is possibly worse oh than, God. it's, it's oh quite God. traumatic getting yeah. hit by a car yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll, i'll just skip a little bit forward oh no it's well just, no it's... tell us it all ended happily no yeah well i mean fish eventually it's gonna be fine fish is gonna be fine it's gonna be fine look he's rolling he's fine oh you cracked the you cracked the glass well, there a little bit it, yeah i that was oh, I, compromised okay. there's water in the fish bowl yeah why it's wouldn't a, there be there's like a there's, there's a bush a... we're gonna aim for the bushes um, here we go. Oh, I wouldn't. Uh, that's good. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah, that seems like yep. a solid Checking plan. Like there's no, there's yeah. nice, yeah. soft cushion. Looking left and right. Here we go. There's, there's footpath below you. You're yeah. a madman. Oh, 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 hey. oh, 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 God. Hey. You hey. completely. Nothing Sweet could possibly go wrong. Nothing no. Possible. No. Oh, God. Oh God! Oh. Gus's mum, look away! <laughs> but, uh, no, it's my uh, nephew. That'll look brutal. Uh, it's true. Nemo, Nemo, uh, no. You, no. Do, you do eventually make it to the water, and yeah, so it seems just like a shark goes on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's very simple. It's fun, uh, but I'm definitely keen to see more than this. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah, those trailers are definitely really interesting in terms of 
It seems like you can explore. Like, I'd love to just explore that village a bit more as well. It's yeah. a beautiful. Uh, he's still stuck in a bowl. Yeah, I would say you have to. Br- you should have to shatter the bowl. But his face is so in. happy. Yeah. Isn't that the end of Nemo, where they're all in the bags, they're all stuck in the water, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like, "What now?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big twist. Big twist. Tom coming up. He thinks he's safe. All right. He's so safe. <gasps> oh no. But, oh. But there is a shark. Really? No. Just no, his no. owners found him. Oh. oh he was oh. the whole time. Oh. oh. No. Poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. That's available for free on Steam. So if you want to do exactly what you just saw. <laughs> I am you big. can for free. <laughs> we're, we're all oh, trapped nice. in a fishbowl of some sort. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Menopo, as, as content creators. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, cool. I am fish. Uh, fish. I've been playing something else. You have been okay. two things. Oh, cool. Far away. so Game Builder Garage, mm-hmm. which got announced, uh, surprise announced a couple of weeks ago, the new builder game from Nintendo, uh, game building tutorializer i suppose uh the idea behind it is that it's super easy to put this stuff together it's using like a node-based system so you're coding using a visual language and it's sort of like teaching you how to put these games together Mm -hmm. i had visions of building a video game (laughs) yeah that that we could all play for my son and then i would bring it in here and we could all play it and it would be like nick you're so so what brilliant. Handsome. Uh, and really <laughs> good at making video so. games. Um, I mean to tell you all the time, you are one of the most energetic people I've Thank ever met. Uh, but the, uh, the only problem with this game is that it's less a game and more just a giant tutorial. Yeah, right. So there is a free... Th- I open it up and there's this free... Uh, like free build mode mm-hmm. and I'm like cool I'll do that click on it and it doesn't let me in and so it's like you have to go do the tutorials first I'm like okay that's fair so I start doing doing the tutorials and it introduces me so this is Bob no this is Anna maybe Bob's a blue dot and Bob is like the paper clip from Windows that like goes this is what you need to do yeah. and starts explaining Looks like you had like, ambitions of building a game with your son <laughs> totally and then starts doing like yeah like press B to jump see how you ca- it's actually got a great beginning where you st- y- your character's standing there and it's like uh, press B to um, jump and get the apple and you hit B and nothing happens and I'm going oh god and I was like shit my switch is broken and I got really panicked and then Bob turns up it's like seems like I have a bit of drop there <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> You, Bob, you planned this. <laughs> <laughs> you your oh, no. head, you, uh, but uh, so then it, you, I went through the first like forty-five minutes of tutorials, and then and then uh, Bob goes, okay, so that's the one hundred and one to this. Now we're going to build seven games. So these are the tutorials that we'll do. Uh, are you interested in doing this? And it says yes or no, and I go no because I just wanted to go play. And it hit no, and it's like I really think you should do it. <laughs> Cannot. Select no. Oh, like, yeah, why is right. no even there? Would that, David uh, Cage make this game? <laughs> that is bad <laughs> game making. But so I have put a couple of hours in. I'm through. I'm making the demo game. You think if you'd successfully done the first part of the tutorial, yes, would have been fine. <laughs> it was like this person is not allowed to keep playing and. <laughs> Um, but uh, I've uh, I've kept going through, and uh, it is really cool. Except for the fact that Bob won't shut up yeah. and just does the tutorial, the Nintendo tu- tu- tutorial thing of just like over explaining everything. And I get that this is supposed to be an introduction to coding and it's aimed at kids, but it's also like you would never hand a child who has never played a video game before in their life a video game about making video games. Like, no one would be playing this if they don't already have an interest in video games. So there's a level of assumed knowledge that, like, pressing a button does something that I go, stop explaining this to me literally for five minutes explaining what B does. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless. Um, is it explaining in a way that it's trying to be like, this is the function of how like switches work from a scientific point of view? Or is it, like, just really patronising and annoying? It's a bit patronising and it's more just like... It explains it four or five times in a row, mm. oh. and and I'm like, I have so clearly got this concept. You're trying to skip using that button. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> totally like it's like I'm so I am so on board with what you're trying to tell me, game. I'm ready for the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. But all that being said, I think it's really cool the way that it it is um that you build these games using this node based system of just connecting these things. It is such a complicated process that they have made so visually clear. Mm. Everything is just like, which is why I wanted to jump into the free mode thing. Cause I was like, oh no, everything here is in a really easy to navigate menu. 
everything is labeled really well Plus that you sometimes... could just look at it and go, if I spend half an hour with this, I could probably figure this out. Plus yeah. there's sometimes there's something fun in going like learning by messing breaking about it. and totally. breaking. Yeah. And the problem I've found with things similar to this in the past that have been like, hey, here's the five games you can make. Yeah. Now go on your own. You're like, I can't think of anything that's not what you made. What but you just like, did. Tweaked yeah. slightly. Yeah. So it's a, you know, it's, it's a big step to be able to teach people skills that are transferable to broader ideas without just you know, yeah, putting them in that kind of like, here's the box we made and yeah. all you can think. I will say, trust Nintendo, uh, they do great. And ever since like Labo and stuff, they've found fantastic ways to translate instructions to, um, you know, reasonably entertaining <laughs> manner. Um, and sort of, because uh, it's my favorite word, just anthropomorphize the simplest things, which in this case is literally a dot, because obviously it has to yeah, point. It's alive. At, but it has to point at so much specific stuff that having a mascot that would bounce around your screen totally. would just get in the way. Yeah. And watching it before, or quite literally just go, hey, these two lines, look at these two lines bouncing yeah. between. Obviously, it's like, this is just this, or it's hopping on things. It's like, it's the simplest way. And if it just has a fun voice. <laughs> because when Bob appeared and I was like, why is he just a dot? This is insane. And then you get to the game thing and it's like, I'm so glad he's a dot. He was because a if he was a thing that was covering and... all the boxes that I'm trying to yeah. yeah, Navi DLC. Well, yeah, give me that. Exactly. Put wings that on that skin. thing. Hey, hey, so I, um, over here. Press no. You're, so, ready. You're not allowed to go ahead, Nick. No, Nick. No. Yes. No. It's like every uh, button introduces itself uh, as a, as a button, and they have their own thing. And I'm like, this is cute, but also like, you're all buttons. Shut up. <laughs> um, I'm better than you, button. <laughs> but it is, uh, it is cool. It's a really cool idea. I'm definitely going to keep going. And I, and it, and it was introducing me to coding ideas that I hadn't really like. I'd sort of like conceptually known, but hadn't really figured out how they work. So yeah, yeah I, it, it's very cool. Again, think of what this could do in the hands of a capable, uh, imaginative, I don't know, like eight year old. Yeah, like eight as, soon as, a, as soon as a kid, because all it is is reading. So as soon as a kid can read, yeah. give this to them and, and they and will absolutely live in that. build you video games. Yeah, like, I've seen yeah. some pretty impressive things in it. Like I've seen people make, make Doom and stuff in it already. But uh, there Doom was on also, the Switch. Never I don't think so. Um, <laughs> can't happen. Can't happen. <laughs> it actually looks better than yeah. It runs better than, <laughs> it looks better than Eternals, <laughs> which they've had to scale everything. Right yeah, now. right. Uh, and also, someone shared on the um, Discord server. Uh, someone was streaming, playing a bunch of uh, Nintendo knockoffs, like. <laughs> Like right. a poke, someone made yeah, a Pokemon right. game that was yeah, like a awesome. shitty Pokemon game. Yeah, and that's, it's a hard thing to get very, your head out of when clever. you're like, "What do I make now?" It's like, "Well, I'll make Pong or I'll make something." That's why that everyone exists. makes one one? Like, yeah, it's like yeah, I know what it is. And totally, just do it. But yeah, it, it's super cool. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna continue. And yeah, if my kids were a bit older, and in fact, well, when they get news, a bit older, they get I'll older. Just older. Hand, yeah, yeah, I know that's one of the things about them. Uh, I'll, I'll just, look I'll to just hand it to them. Anything the back pocket community wants to make as well. Yeah, totally. It would be great to see if anyone game watching. about me making. Oh, a yeah, table. if there were like, <laughs> if there were a bunch, then we could do a full seg. A little a very uh, good gameplay on some stuff. Gameplay. Yeah, totally. Ooh, I love that. It'd be good fun. Totally. Um, That'd be a great and, idea. And speaking of uh, games that uh, should or should not have been made, I played the demo of Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. What the Chaos Final Fantasy game announced at E3. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So the Demon Souls style video oh, game. Oh shit! Right. Uh, which had, I would say, the worst trailer I've seen in E3 in mm. years. Yep. I think I saw it and didn't know what I was watching. It is. Yeah. It is an ab- an abysmal trailer where the word chaos <laughs> is said eight times in two and a half minutes. Chaos. The eight, chat is saying chaos. Every eighteen seconds, say. someone says the word chaos. Um, well, if we skip past this, because this is just the terrible that this doesn't tutorial. look particularly chaotic. The The world is in turmoil. The thing about it is everything about it is awful, except for the gameplay, which actually is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, cool. It's kind of fun to play. It's a blend of Neo and I would say less... I mean, there's Dark Souls stuff about it, but it's more Devil May Cry. It's more yeah, like sort of right. chaining together juggling. some combo-y sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, a bit of juggling. It's not nearly as frenetic as Devil May Cry. Or Bayonetta or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not yeah, that sort okay. of like, or at least in the demo, like I'm not tossing people up in the air and juggling combos, but it's, I'm definitely like, I never really ran out of stamina to be able to attack. And it's more about getting in there and, and being agile, mm. um, so which feels a little more neo-y, and uh, it's more Devil May Cry, I guess, in the presentation of everything. The, the peroxide yeah, and like, yeah. man in a black red jacket. Yeah, you're working. Your goal is to like get to the hairdresser. <laughs> well, the game the game director said that his inspiration was that he wanted to make a game, quote, about an angry man, 
It's like <laughs> right. They exist, buddy. We, what video game isn't about an egg? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Um, it, just, it doesn't look particularly great. No, no it no, doesn't. No. Animations are bits. Yeah. Animations terrible. Uh, the UI is terrible. The voice the acting is awful. Is the script is horrific. The outfits are questionable, but the gameplay is much better than the trailer let on. Sure. Yeah. And normally yeah, okay, cool. you see a good trailer and then you go, oh, the game's a bit crap. This could be one of those situations where it's like, oh, I actually, I'll end up really enjoying playing this game and just r- fondly look back on the Chaos yeah. trailer as being like, <laughs> well, that was something we all the, um, yeah, that's funny. Sorry, I know, I've, I know you've probably had a limited hands on, but the blood on the sword and the meter at the bottom and this, this thing that seems yeah, to be Yeah, so that. you've Chaos got... Blade, Chaos Blood. What yeah, so about? I can't remember exactly what it's called, but basically you have... Um, uh, you've got your stamina meter and then you've got this other thing that you build up that you can use as a shield. Um, so uh, you can sort of block incoming projectiles. You, When you get that blood, it's almost like you activate a super. But the super from what I'd played so far doesn't actually give you like necessarily an extra ability. It just make, lets you hit harder sure. and that's when the blood is swirling around you. Yeah, right. And then, uh, but the a big part of the game is you've got finishing moves on basically everything. So you hit, you, you deplete their stamina and then and you hit circle and his thing is like he stomps on them and they erupt into like blood icicles um uh gus's niece uh so it's, it's just She's like just information dinner. she needs to know <laughs> um so uh yeah so it, it, it's i thought it's you were cool. say she's only just learned about blood icicles can you please <laughs> my favorite part of the whole thing though is the bonfires uh you they walk just up blatant? It, so no it's this glowing cube and, okay. and it says, um, and we go up to it, and close to it, it says touch cube. And I'm like, okay, I'll touch the cube. <laughs> and I hit it and it goes, this is a touch cube. And I'm like, that's the <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So the Maybe it was something really uh, poetic in Japanese that just didn't translate. I think you've run into, <laughs> like, you run into a placeholder graphic that's yeah. left in the demo. It totally. It was so, I, I was just like, touch cube is what we landed on. We landed on. <laughs> Uh, That's so so that, good. that made me laugh so That's hard. hilarious. But I, but yeah, I'm I'm keen to see more on this uh, after the abysmal trailer. The demo's on the PS5 store right now, sure. and it didn't work for the first 24 hours that they released it. It, it. it said files corrupted, and everyone had to was like, I can't play. The awful game. <laughs> that's that's part of the chaos, though. Yeah, it is. It is. My touch cube is chaos broken. Chaos, 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 chaos. Uh, so that was uh, so that was everything that we've been playing this Pretty week. Much. Remind me what that thing's called because it's got a it's got a. <sighs> Every time I can't remember. It's Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. I can't <laughs> believe that the word chaos is not in there. <laughs> Considering <laughs> it's like who they're trying to fight, what they're trying to stop. Like, why is it not Chaos of Paradise no. or Stranger of Chaos or or Stranger Chaos Paradise. Again, I wonder if these yeah. names like come from something that is more commonly well, like, like sits together. Sits in its together, yeah, it, yeah. Because like, uh, do you remember like Final Fantasy three five eight days over two? Yeah. Oh yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Soul Hearts. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Soul yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think. Yeah. 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 They're it's, intentionally obtuse though. Yeah. It's just and so this is uh, so what I played was Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin PS five demo. The chaos. Gotcha. The chaos. The chaosing. Um, So that's what we've been playing this week. We're going to go to a very quick break and we're going to come back and break down everything. Well, nearly everything. We saw at E3. Pete, give me a single. Listen, you piece of shit. Oh, no. (laughs) You can't send in 30 seconds worth of fucking video. Do you have any idea how complicated this entire show is? And four people make this? This goes on for hours. We're asking for 30 seconds. It could be one shot. It could be literally you writing a word in your own blood on a piece of paper. That's all. (laughs) It's that simple. I don't understand why it's so difficult for you to get up off your asses and send us a goddamn video. You are eligible. This is me, Captain America, telling you, get off your fucking asses. Today, we're going to be talking about Halo, the movie. To make this kind of as 
gamey as possible, you've actually brought in some voice talent to kind of really give it video game bona fide. I've got a couple of special guest voices. We've got Stephanie Ben Dixon. Yes. From the, you, you might know her as Hex. Yeah. And absolutely. we've also got uh, Gus Ronald that you might know as Goose. Goose. Yeah. That's right. So the fact that you've managed to somehow <laughs> wrangle them into this thing. Mate, if there was ever a film to get these guys involved in, <laughs> this it's is definitely one. this one. Reporting is ordered, sir. Good to see you, Master Chief. Let me get you up to speed. We're in the shit. It seems that they left ruins and artifacts all over the galaxy. And another of those artifacts is this ring. They call it Halo. Master Chief unloads a clip right into his face. Ah. The Warthog then bursts onto the upper level of the ship's landing deck. You've done it. You've activated the ring. This is going to kill me too, isn't it? Oh, yes. Who are you? I am a monument to all your sins. If I plug you in, I don't know what it's going to do to you. You don't need to know what it's going to do to me. You don't need to know shit. I wish you could feel this. Whoever controls the halo controls the fate of the universe. My cousin got sick and the hospital bills are through the roof. It really got me thinking, if I ever got sick, what are we doing to protect our future and the future of our family? That's an understandable fear. And I think we should do one simple thing, and that's contact the Learn Programming Academy. Okay, I was thinking we would get life insurance. Get your exclamation mark Tims out in the chat because over 1 million people trust Tim from the Learn Programming Academy to deliver high quality, quick and affordable tutorials on how to code. And they're all videos so you don't even need to know how to read. I know I can't. But I'm worried about dying. We all are. So why not live forever by coding a robot to transplant your old disgusting organs for fresh new ones while you sleep? I'm sure it's possible. I don't think it is. Oh, well, that's because you're stupid and you haven't contacted the Learn Programming Academy. What the fuck did you just say to me? The Learn Programming Academy. You'll give it a C plus plus. Skateboard. Oh. Fuck, oh, sh shit, shit, shit. Shit, I don't know how I'm gonna get home now. Thank you very much to Biggles and Lucas McGuire for sending in. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> are you are making a bunch of noise. Am I? I mean, it's okay. I was just like, he, I was like, he heard sweet. Yeah, I heard. The, I heard the sound. I want of sugar. That. It's just a little snack. It's just a little snack. It's just a little, snack. It's just a little sugary it's snack. Big little snacks. Biggles, Lucas. It's thank Will. You so much for <laughs> and then, hey. I don't know what it says about me, but I was anticipating you to. Yeah, come fuck yeah. No. <laughs> fuck yeah, you were. And uh, and also, uh, someone made a movie. Well, yeah. Uh, a big shout out to the cancer. No, no it not is quite. Not a movie. We should back announce the fact that that's a trailer that I put together for a podcast that Steph and I helped out by putting our voices into. So mm -hmm. this is an audio podcast uh, from, uh, I guess, friend of the show, uh, who uh, Aiden, who did the Game Bro uh, Boys when they helped, they did the news he's report. One half, or he's one part one of, half the, of the Game Boys who we had early on in the show. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it does a podcast called The Cancel Movie Report where they basically it's take... a movie chat. They take a script <laughs> that never made it to air and then they basically go over it and they voice it and they put sound effects to it and all that kind of stuff. And they wanted to do the Halo movie, which was a Peter Jackson endeavor that never made it. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, asked Steph and I to do some voices. I don't know why they asked me. They asked Steph to do a Cortana voice and it was amazing. <laughs> no. And it's yeah, really thought, good. I thought yours was good. I thought mine sounded good when I was doing it. And then I listened to it back and I was like, oh. I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't asked. We, um, <laughs> no, you weren't. Uh, you basically get a kind of like, it's, it's, it's released in two parts and you basically get a general idea of what the film would have been like uh, without. Yeah, to, uh, give, you, to give you an understanding of how it plays yeah. out. The guys who run the podcast read all the stage direction mm. and all the cues that Master Chief might have, 
uh, and then in key scenes, these guys have There's done little voice. Inserts and stuff. Yeah, th- yeah, yeah. These guys have done insert kind of scenes of them interacting with the script. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a really, really cool idea to pull these scripts from like the you know the dark parts of the internet. Yeah, well, I think they just exist for a lot of those films. Totally once do, they yeah. just get left by the wayside, and that was one of those particular films <clears> that just you know I think they were making it for nine months in full production, like they got, workshop. Yeah, they got snippets. They made of... short films. It was um uh oh, the the South District, African director. District Nine director. District Nine. Uh, oh come on. Uh, Neil Blumkamp um, mm. was going to direct, uh, and so yeah, they're going. I was confident shows. you'd get there. Wait, we, when I, I don't know if any of you have uh, visited Weta Workshop, but we saw the Warthog. Yeah. In there, oh the right. That they that they made for it. They were making cool. full parts of the film, and then mm. it obviously fell apart. The script exists. The script is pretty much the game. It's in. It's almost like what, have a listen to the podcast. It's almost embarrassing how much they just ripped the lines from. the I cut got the scenes. impression that the film wouldn't have been terrible, but wouldn't have been great. <coughs> I you think. Know what I mean, like I yeah. think it just would have been really average because it wouldn't have brought anything new, and I don't think it would have been like. A it brought nothing new, and it was yeah. Microsoft saying we just need to make this a movie, essentially. So yeah, it was a, a weird experiment in trying to do that and being like, no people. Need Need more nuanced, interesting ones, uh, stories. So yeah, uh, it's a fun podcast. If you want to listen, there's heaps of episodes from season one uh, with some cool voice acting and some like weird movies. You just what's it called again? Uh, cancelled movie. Cancelled movie report. Um, and it's uh, I'll, I'll link it on uh, social and stuff. Well, yeah. So um, that was uh, heaps of fun. So thanks. Also, that there is a voice of the flood in it, mm. which is I played for you guys here, which I was really happy to do. No, it's uh, it's the, it's it's not Gravekeeper or whatever, but it's the voice of the flood in the script. Grave mind. Grave yeah. mind. Sorry, what did I say? Grave digger. Gold digger. Gravekeeper. Same. Um, Same thing, who cares? And I was really sick. I'd have yeah, I had whatever Pete had. And so I recorded two versions of it. One was just me being like, I'm not well. I was Captain Keys stuck in the flood. Who did the voice of the other thing? Other thing? The Guilty other Spark. AI. Gu- the Guilty Spark. I'm not sure. I think, you know, the, the guys have a few friends that they fall back because on. Because they asked me voices. to do it and I was like, I've done it, but I think you should get someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said that like with both did. of mine. I'm, ca- I'm Master Chief and Captain Keys, both American deep voices that I'm pretty sure by the end just sounded the exact same. So thank you for modulating. Someone says, but you're Flood. Uh, but then I was the Flood. Yeah. And when I put that voice on, I gave them a clean version. And then I gave them a version that was just me tearing my vocal cords up oh, with phlegm. Nice. Doing this disgusting deep voice. You also I- choked yourself. I was choking myself too, uh, and he was you know, already. That's doing a that, that's a sex thing. That's yeah, a sex yeah. thing. Hi, kids. Um, and so, yeah. Gus's parents? No, they're, no, they're not watching. It's it's the little kids. It's who Gus's are watching. sister is watching. Oh. Yeah, Gus's Sorry sister. Um, he probably already knows about all this. But she they went with was the, in cho- the room next door. When <laughs> she she yeah she found the, <laughs> yeah, the belt take. on yeah, the head. And but they the- went with the choking <laughs> take, and uh, it worked all right. Uh, good. Don't ruin this. Um, Sorry. I, didn't, well, I didn't ruin this at all. <laughs> uh, I, very good. I love the trailer that you made. I said that they're definitely going to make you make that into a movie now. Uh, there's also there's a thing of um, books. Some books, high profile book releases, get trailers as well where they oh, shoot yes. bespoke things. Oh, yeah. It's like, what are we doing? Yes. <laughs> like, because we need to, we, we can't just put audio on a show for two minutes. So mm. that's why. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to listening. Uh, so there is no visual aspect to it. I think they have a Facebook page where they put stuff up. But yeah, that was me. That's the game. Uh, if you want to hear the audio, go check out the podcast, Cancel Movie Report. It's a heap of fun. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what else was a heap of fun? E3. Mm-hmm. The Summer Games Fest. Kicked it off. Showcase. Showcase, I thought. Summer Games Fest. Fest? I wish they would Fest. stop using seasons. Fest. You know? Fall. I hate oh that. right, yeah, because it's, 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 a, it, it's a global thing. Yeah, it's yep. a global thing. Just say yeah. March. Or like America is not the center of the bloody universe. Not like anymore. just like is we're there? in winter. Acknowledge that. Call it something else. Acknowledge like our winter. Be angry about. Well, I was thinking about it the other day, and I was just kind of getting stewed up about it by myself. No, I'm on board with Steph on this because there was something something else. Out. Autumn uh, 21. Fall. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, fall. Fall. or holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That holiday, yeah. holiday yeah. is fun. Yeah. No. No. Everyone has the same holiday. No, yeah. we don't. There's, we I mean, got, got bank holidays and queen like, holidays. That thing's out Thanksgiving. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. When, they say, when they say, like, yeah, yeah, fall or spring or whatever, I'm like, yeah, because I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's actually the complete six opposite. months. The holiday season is fine. No. Do you want? Q2, Q3, and Q4, I'm also okay good. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine yeah. with that. We all agree I guess on I understand from their perspective, they... Don't try to be empathetic. No, well, I'm just trying to say, like, let's find a solution together. Oh, okay. Because, like, if you break it into quarters, that's narrowing your release window, right? And if they want to release it in the summer, mm. we need to come up with, like, a... But summer's only three months long. I dropped a jelly bean Which is a quarter. Sleeve. There are four seasons, four quarters. H1, H2. 
Half one, half two? Hemisphere one, hemisphere Hemisphere, two. yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. right. Coming out okay. exclusively okay. in hemisphere two yeah. this fall. There's yeah. only one way we're going to come up with this. Gus, take off your belt, <coughs> wrap around your throat, and we'll, we'll think about this together. Um, so, yeah, E3 happened. It was a different E3 than we're used to seeing. Normally, the big event... Uh, the way that E3 would normally run, press conferences at the top and then a, a few days of hands-on, less reveals towards the end because everyone's done their press stuff at the beginning. How did we feel that uh, that E3 this year was? Um, all three of you have been to E3. It's true. Um, I was never invited. Uh, <laughs> how do I, Gus, how was this E3 for you? That was weird. I didn't like it. And that's the show. All oh, right, good. Uh, it was. It was uh, a lack of oxygen in the brain right now. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, look, it was interesting. It was obviously uh, everything was trying to tie itself as close as it could to this window that you know was the last week and a half. Um, I think it, it sort of didn't have the same pageantry. Summer Games Fest was probably the highlight, I'd say, like and kicked it off. Wow. It just seemed. It just for me, it just seemed to be the most. Uh, there was a lot of promise. Yeah, there was promise. It had a stage. It That's had a it stage. Yeah. Uh, it felt the most like something from E3, uh, and uh, it had the most sort of surprises for me. Everything else felt pretty stock standard. Uh, there is something to say about the idea of being having this like uh, large showcase event happening somewhere globally at once. Uh, I think all the the. I think everyone tried their hardest and you could see the efforts that were all on display. Um, nothing game-wise, and we'll get into the games later, like really just absolutely blew my socks off. And I think at the end of the day, for me, if I don't have those one or two titles that I'm just hanging on to um, that I can think of when I think of E3, uh, then it just doesn't leave much of a mark in my memory. And I think you're just sad that Breath of the Wild 2 isn't coming out this year. You, mm. you were totally right. Uh, and <coughs> jokes aside, like there was that or that another would, game. That would have saved it for you. Something would have made me go like this E3, there was the thing that I will remember it for and I can't think of the stuff that will. I'm also a bit sleep deprived. I, th I think it's interesting too because like. <laughs> I think that's the core of it. <laughs> I was up watching them at four because I had to be up occasionally and so it left me in weird dream states when I watched it. So my favourite thing that's happened over the last week is Gus has some family members staying with him who have very, very small children and very beautiful little kids and it is uh he's getting a taste of like when i'm like hey d is it cool if i come in a little bit later today because i just got to help out around the house with this and now he look at this look at this face this is him <laughs> right now experiencing what it's like to have two kids in the house um yes guys you've done a great job uh yeah but no 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 it's just like it was one of the things that i got up to watch some of them and that actually felt like a waste because again nothing really i know you guys might have some games that or some things that really uh sort of stood out for you but nothing did I for me and so it was a king hit game <coughs> no but I, th I think it's which makes me resent getting up early That's a few what things contribute to this e3 feeling like you know weird and different and I think it's because like obviously uh you know it couldn't be it's big thing because of covid but it also the last year has been affected in terms of game releases and stuff like that leading up to this event which kind of would have impacted what was on show and then it's also been this weird slow decline of E3 over the past few years mm. I think you know with publishers just slowly pulling out you know when we think about when I think about the first E3 that I went to um, and of those first couple with that they were almost just like really ridiculous spectacles like yeah. stuff like just designed that they would just throw money at to impress people that weren't even to do with video games. Like they would get crazy bands to play and Cirque du Soleil and they would give everyone Xboxes and it was this whole huge like... But the audience can't, don't get that. Money making. Well, that's what I mean. Mm. It's like I think it, it kind of... It, it stirs we, up a frenzy though. We, think, it, we yeah. think about what E3 was and it kind of was like... I think now it's it's transitioning excess. into something. It was excess and and it was really kind of stupid. Yeah. Um. I really like. I enjoyed going because I loved being there and seeing all of the kind of like hands-on kind of mm. demos and stuff like that. Um. But I think also it started to lose something as soon as PlayStation just started not turning up and different publishers stopped being involved. And now it seems like, and I, and I can understand as well from PlayStation's perspective. They would. The competition between them was always a really big thing. We would watch the press conference. Who won E3? It would was always the, be the like who won E3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it Xbox or PlayStation or <clears throat> Nintendo? And I feel like them removing themselves from that is like we're just not going to participate in that comparison and do our own thing later on in the year. Mm. And then you know it's not going to be a negative thing for us. And I think that everyone's slowly pulling away from E3 to do that. So I think that this was kind of just 
I don't know, a, a, a sign of the times of what it's becoming. Because then last year we didn't really have anything, did we? Like during no, the COVID, everyone, it was like nothing. everyone did their and own. You're right. Yeah. It was a, there's a decline in its necessity or, or what sort of part it played in the gaming, you know. And then like to have a year where it's like we had to put it on hold for this. And then it's like we're going to come back and everyone's going to have their announcements around the same time. Yeah. For me, feels the less uh, relevant than it ever has. And yeah. now I'm like... I think you mentioned it months ago. It's like, I would love to just have all this stuff scattered to the wind throughout the year and just have these... Yeah, I like all the little, like, oh, we get something this week where we get some, like, big... Like, you know, imagine the Only Guardians one. of the Galaxy thing revealed just on a random Tuesday and we all get excited for two weeks yeah. and it gets its moment. Mm. Spread yeah. out, it just, yeah. It just didn't I, think I, I think I miss it being all one big group thing because it was such a big, massive <clears throat> celebration of games all in one week. It's also, it served a, it served a purpose for the games industry in a way that is not necessarily as important now, which was E3 was this thing that happened that the world paid attention to. Yeah, mm. totally. Broader than people who like video games. Yeah. It was a news Headline that yeah. like by making, people from around the world were going like to a LA festival hub. for this like entertainment expo yeah. about video games and video Sandra games are Sully's this big. The words E3. I yeah. literally once got a, a, a press event once was like, hey, they want to do an Aussie news story on like a, a non ABC channel, and they're like, because they just want to know what E3 is. I'm like, I was like, what? And it was like, we never did it, but it was basically like seven or nine or someone was like, they just mm. want to do a cross to you because they just want to know what's going on over here. And yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, why are all these like, people in LA right now? Yeah. yeah. But they're not going to do that for like PlayStations, whatever, solo sure. show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure that is extrapolated over the whole world the same way you say it pays global attention rather mm. than just your Sandra the, Solis. The interesting thing though is like Keely is angling to Could replace E3 with E3. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. he's he wants to he wants to be the whole show. Yeah. Like he wants to go the Summer Games Fest thing is like and I think he did a pretty good job with it. I, I saw agree. people I saw people I like at the time I saw a lot of like positive stuff and then as the days were going on I've seen people go like oh Keely's thing was kind of underwhelming or whatever and I was like well that may be true in terms of like obviously you had the huge Elden Ring drop at the end. Yeah. But and, and there were some announcements there uh, throughout his thing that were cool. But also, I think it's like, remember that what he's the doing. He got Jeff like, Goldblum. He got Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> but also, like, what he's doing is this was like a pilot for what could be. And everyone else was going, no, like, Xbox is like, no, we're going to hold our games to our show. Why would we give you our games? Yeah. Whereas he's going, like, look, I can put on a show. <clears throat> and yes, I need to pay the piper in terms of, like, this Amazon game title needs to get featured and what, and Chivalry 2 needs to get mentioned, but even the though show it's out. Be designed yeah. from the ground up to cater for what this new model is. Totally. Yeah. I still feel like the Xbox. Xbox press conference, even with Bethesda, felt like here's us doing what we would usually do, but within the restrictions <laughs> of a digital only event without an audience with yeah. just these key speakers. Though I do think, weird, like, oh, not man. bad crosses, but it just felt lackluster. And I was like, no, the summer of oh, games I, for I think me. That was, that was like, Microsoft's presentation was the one of the best they've ever done. Yeah, I, I agree. It had so yeah, many yeah. fucking games. They're all really good because they don't have Bethesda games. There's no filler. Yeah. It's like all the stuff that Bethe Pete Hines I like the window pro Sorry, promoting I, on I a different say, stage I like the, was there. Yeah. I like the insane. window dressing of how Keely did theirs more. Their presentation. It definitely is more relaxed and more current. It's more of a now thing rather than like a here's a business selling you something. Yeah. yeah but like it's, it's a digital event that's I don't think that's necessarily live better. audience to be looking at and chatting at, not a man standing on stage presenting to you know, but that's exactly what Keely did. He stood on stage and presented in the same way that Microsoft did. I, I, but they also just had video conferences with Kojima because he can't help himself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think that the, I think Xbox did a great job because they basically were just like. They did that thing that they did the thing that like PlayStation did a couple of years ago, where they're in a position to be like, "We're just here about the games," yeah, and yeah. so they just go trailer, yeah. trailer, 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 and then and occasionally someone goes, "Hi." Here's some more trailers. Trailer, trailer, trailer. Yeah. yeah. All and like what? Twenty-seven out of thirty of those titles coming to Xbox Game Pass day, day one. one yeah. yeah. And so I'm watching. I'm watching this press conference, and I'm like. I own all these games. Yeah. Like, yeah. I already own all yeah. these games. Every game that you're showing me here is basically something, with the exception of, like, Diablo play, like, and other games, I already have when it comes out, and that's a pretty amazing feeling to basically be like, here's just a glimpse of, like, your library over the next... And also, like, over the next less than 12 months, there was yeah. very few things that they showed off in that press conference that are not coming out before the end of the year, and I think that was a really solid... And thing. I feel like Microsoft has laid so much <laughs> wonderful groundwork in terms of setting up their consoles and entertainment system and then and then setting up Game Pass as the thing that you need to have now and going forward in the future, so that they're at a point now when they just, like, any game we release, uh, like, you know, it's 
there's a high percentage, there's a high chance that it's going to be on Game, pa- Game Pass and, like, people will understand that, like, subscribing to this thing is subscribing to, like, the new Netflix. It's kind of, like, a necessity. Mm, yeah. And, like, and that subscribing to Xbox means you're going to have, like, such a a library of games at your fingertips. It's a terrifying amount of titles that yeah. they have on Game Pass coming. Yeah. Like, if you think about the value proposition, which uh, also we've been, not just we, everyone has been saying for the past, like, eight months, Game Pass is the best deal in video games. And it's now just, like, like as soon as uh, Todd Howard walks out, he's like, Starfield, exclusive to Xbox, mm. day one on Game Pass. You're just like, yeah, of course. This yeah, is, like, yeah. the greatest yeah. deal in video games yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to cost me 120 bucks a year to get access to minimum 27 games that got announced at this like for 120 bucks a year i was happy to do that for the ea thing which i was paying that for ea thing which was i'm gonna play battlefield and i'll play fifa because i'm paying for it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, i would have paid i would have paid 80 bucks for battlefield but i'm yeah. paying 110 bucks or whatever for so that's what you feel like <laughs> oh okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like yeah like i was really blown away by them i do think e3 as a whole um i think this was like a little bit of finding its feet. I think I would love for Jeff Keighley to his show to be bigger and better mm. going ahead. Um, and I would love for there to be more uh, competition for Xbox Bethesda next year. Mm. I would love for PlayStation to be there. I don't think they will be. Um, but, th- you know, their presence is definitely... Their, the lack of presence is definitely felt. Because yeah. it's um, like Xbox clearing away the winner at least for me, and then, like, everyone else is so far down that next rung of just, like, the, but, but kind of simply from the perspective that, like, they're not a platform. There's Nintendo, and Nintendo, I saw a lot of people who love the Nintendo one, but, like, 80% of the Nintendo stuff, I was like, eh. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, me it's too. Just, it, yeah, it just sucks because I do, I do miss it being a one big massive festival of games, but I also can see the logic in why, pe- like, people would want to separate themselves from it and not have that constant point point of comparison. And I also like I have no idea how much money it costs, you know, a big a company to participate in E3 like that. Mm. From like even you know from from the standpoint of like putting together a big presentation and like if it goes back to conference show floor, like putting up all those booths and stuff like mm. that. You have to be like really confident that just doing something <laughs> digital later on isn't going to be just as effective. Mm. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Like Nintendo suffered for me because. All the Pokemon stuff they'd announce in a direct earlier. Yeah. It's like yeah. they they have a they have a really good E three show if they hold off for E three, but they don't necessarily want to. No. And they've also learned that they don't need to spend they money on those directs. Yep. Their their key on their their green screen was atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and they used to do like they used to do all this cool, fun stuff in those with that they interstitial bits. The puppets, and, yeah. and, the puppets. and now they, yeah, and now they're just like, you know, they're just here to see yeah. which Smash Bros. character got it. It's literally they, just like we just need some Japanese men to click. That's <laughs> all we need to do. Well, they know that what they do is it then gets like you know segmented up and sliced and scattered about as yeah. trailers that yeah, people hunt yeah. down. No one's like, there's the watch through the feed, and then there is that element of after. Oh, I slept through that one. I'm just going to go and click through the trailers that sit at the top of my whatever channels I'm subscribed to. So there's less of a necessity to have that like that stage present or that online stage presence, which, yeah, I'm with you. I miss the idea of the pageantry around it and then the competitiveness that comes from who can outshine someone, not just in the game titles as and, well. And EA stood apart as like a big competitor as well. They have just a lot of titles and they've got mm. a lot of different IP. So they always had something interesting mm. on their own. Bethesda now with Microsoft, it feels like because they're one unit, there's one less publisher yeah. doing their thing. Yeah. So it was really EA's Ubisoft... Like Ubisoft was impressive. Ubisoft yeah, was actually Ubisoft really was good. good. Ubisoft yeah. had a lot of good stuff to talk about, so it was always going to be interesting. Uh, Keeley did a, a, a very good job with not very interesting games, um, but obviously Elden Ring was something that everyone's been yep. wanting to hear yep. more about, and that was a that was a king hit for him. Devolver was fun. <clears throat> Devolver was fun. Uh, I think Devolver for me the the presentation was like. They've almost gone too hard in that direction this year. <laughs> it's like it's good that well, they are. They had like six or eight games total, or something. Yeah, they like just that. had fewer games, so it was and like they used to most so of their show was the sketch. They can, yeah, they they used to throw so many games out at once in those uh yeah those press conferences that it was just like I couldn't keep track of all of theirs. Yeah. But they had lots of bitsy pieces that made yeah. it fun. I think everything they had was like a really cool looking devolver game. It was yeah. like this could be something that really take captures an audience. And uh, uh, Day of the Devs was also awesome. So that came right after the yeah. um, mm. Jeff Keighley stuff. And that was like 19 super cool indie titles. Like most of them were 
king hit indie stuff like each of them was really interesting and like oh there's some genuinely cool stuff here that would have got swept up in a montage on a um xbox scenario yeah. um there, it, did you guys watch any of the oh, well i guess i guess also there were things like kosh and uh gearbox was awful uh take two that. didn't even announce games they did some sort of like diversity and inclusion panel yep. which was not what people were expecting and it's like cool that's good stuff to talk about but that's like not the right that's pr- not it, what yeah. you should like that should have been part of the e3 or broader package panel and i was stuff. gonna say like, did you guys watch any of the like filler I, between I miss, I miss conferences <laughs> yeah um it, it, I saw it, was, it on Twitter. It was fine. Yeah. It's, I think it's one of those things that it was the thing that I was a bit worried about of going what E3 was before and what all these sort of things are is like the big stuff gets streamed out, the press conferences and the big announcements and that sort of thing. And then the rest of it is people wandering around the show floor getting hands-on with games and releasing his 15 minutes of gameplay for yeah. this thing. Mm. Here's an interview with the developer from here. Whereas you... like. E3, the Twitch channel, didn't want people to not watch, so they just fill time with lots of just, like, talking heads of, like, people, like, Rolling Stone people doing, like, music and games and that sort of thing. Right. And it was all just a bit, like, this all just feels like this. I guess this, right? Like, it's just, like, this a bit and this with sucks. less production value. And this sucks. <laughs> this is awful. And I don't know who would pay for this. Can you say last week? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. And so it was, a bit, it was all a bit uh, filler, I feel like, uh, in the middle there. But... We should talk about the video games that did yes. get announced because let's get let's get excited because there was some really cool stuff coming out. Totally. Each of us have picked I don't want to say three of our favorites, but each of us because there's a ton of pro- crossover. Each so of us much. have picked three games that uh, we think are worthy of talking about, and we'll just like go through each in turn, figure them out. So, uh, Gus, do you want to start us off with sure. your? Most excited and you're most disappointed. Yeah, it was Breath of the Wild 2, uh, part of the Nintendo Direct. Uh, We got a short little sort of gameplay trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. Previously to that, we'd only really seen uh, the kind of cinematic trailer. and world premiere yeah. <laughs> uh, which might even be what this is I'm quite conv- I've, uh, right now no this is the uh, oh. previous trailer possibly no this uh, is the E3 the, thing oh it did it yeah. showed a bit of that yeah. and switched over right um, yeah not a not a very long trailer pretty short had some uh, a couple of frames of stuff we just hadn't seen any of before even in images and that kind of stuff did you see the photoshop of that moment where someone just comped out the underside of his tunic and put in a little butt uh, yeah, that's you. adorable thank you um <laughs> little moments here that just show like it's uh it's there are a lot of very familiar elements to the original game a couple of new powers something about a sheikah ability on the arm i, I guess yeah, he could shoot fire yeah, uh, and then there's the whole uh, idea of the islands in the sky, uh, and then you can travel through these puddles upwards into them. Um, He's got long hair. He does have long hair, whether or not that's a time jump kind of thing. Stuff to speculate on, but not presented very well. As a trailer, I wasn't uh, blown away in the way that the first trailer had this wonderful cinematic of Zelda and uh, Link moving through an old uh, like cave and finding like a mummified Gan, and the music was all oh, backwards. I was yeah. like, there was, yeah. it was inspiringly obtuse in the original, whereas this one, and then this hold... Wait, was it meant to have the title over it? I feel like it was meant to... This is how long it held for. I feel like Nothing this, happened. This is just a more of a sort of a slow burn, a mood arty... Piece. Yeah, get, you know, but get, then they get the vibe. gameplay. With it. <laughs> it's the real burn. Yeah, that is the real one that obviously anyone who's paid attention to our pocket league knows I've just lost my first draft. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd be okay with some really interesting, like, uh, sort of creative cinematic shots and and things that were deliberately obscure to me to go, oh, I'm curious about this, but there are some traditional gameplay cuts here that I would have liked to see the five-minute blowout of more, you know, mechanically how the game plays. So I thought it was was a weird smash together of some obtuse elements and some rather standard uh, trailer elements. Well, don't you think that's because they said we're aiming for a 2022 release? They didn't even say we have it. it. So it's like, this could be a 2023 game, and so... Don't show gameplay. Yeah. Like, don't sure. show gameplay a year don't and a half out hope, from yeah. when it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, but yeah, it felt like the blending of two trailers, which is more unsatisfying for me than if I got a straight gameplay trailer for two minutes or a really beautiful, just cinematic, just, cinematic, cinematic, just yeah. some notes on the keyboard and some areas that I can just pour over. Uh, it was I, a weird trailer. I, yeah, I totally hear that, but I, I do think, like, from me who's not as, like, obsessed with the series, like... The things that it showed me, I'm really excited about experiencing Breath of the Wild 2, so it's just nice to see that they're still working on it, is, is my perspective. I was like, oh, cool, there's, like, floating islands. Oh, cool, there's, like... Fire glove and upwards puddles. I'm the same with you. Just, like, yeah, there's, oh, there's new things in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just worried that it was just going to be, like, his 
a different calamity event on sure. a different on a different similar like world plateau. I guess I was like, more oh, confused okay. that we were <laughs> seeing this different version of Link, longer hair, but then we're seeing traditional Link there. Uh, in, I like, think he's what, just got his hair tied up. Uh, he's in like a different garb and different oh, so tunic. Might just be an outfit takes out the ponytail. Yeah, I think he just under shakes the it out. Yeah. yeah. But when yep. he's doing that, he's in a different outfit every time in this trailer. So it kind of looks like there could be two... Ver- gear? Again, gear? A, gear? Yeah, changeable gear. It just looked like they were trying to hint at something br- bigger and then, as I said, interspersed with elements he of was regular... was all along. There you go. Like, <gasps> he was Zelda all along. And again, some... Zelda trailers in the past have been really powerful. They've like had moments of boom. Here's the thing we're doing differently, and I didn't get much of that from this. So a little okay. bit disappointed. Disappointed at 2022, and uh, I wanted to see a 20 minute gameplay blowout on the Switch Pro. So I was bound to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, you were de- yeah, yeah, very yeah. specific. You built- uh, yeah, totally. Well, yeah, and it was uh, late. There which was is bit- so unlike you, Gus. Yeah, <laughs> the only thing I thought that, that, that I was surprised wasn't in that was uh, we didn't get a name. Like a sub, a sub yeah, title. Right. Yeah, right. So they came out like, and oh, mentioned, interesting they, the developers came out and said, like, look, that's because the Zelda titles often basically give away what the mechanic or what the... Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So they really can't come out and say that because Breath of the Wild is, hey, it's the, the map itself is the main character, mm. Skyward Sword. Yeah, right. Is, is he the, points a sword in the, the air thing and Yeah, yeah, yeah Ocarina the of Time, it's like usually... Breath of the plus. Wild to machine gun fellatio. <laughs> 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 so that is the reason they've held off on the name, which uh, obviously hints at there being some sort of like sky-based puddle drip mechanic in the title. So maybe that's what they're going for. Yeah. Alrighty, Stephanie. Sure. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just mention Starfield first because that was like super exciting for everyone, a new IP from Bethesda. We didn't see much from it. Uh, it was just a very like <laughs> small glimpse, but I guess it's more just the idea of it that's exciting because mm-hmm. I mean I, I'm a big fan of the Elder Scrolls franchise, but um, I never really got into Fallout that much. I feel like as a world, it was never like one of my favorites. I know people love Fallout, and I you know I know that it's had some great stories that came out of it, but I feel like this is going to be um, a franchise that I will really get on board with from a story perspective, from a world perspective. It'll be like Skyrim in space, and uh, I'm I'm really excited about what the potential of that will be. Have they nailed down the time period or the kind of future-esque period? Because I thought they have, but I don't think they've told uh, us. I thought originally it was going to be far, far future. And from what we We saw... We can travel around space. Sorry? We can travel around in space. Yeah, sure, but it's not not like Mass Effect. Well... I don't know, but it doesn't feel necessarily feels like we're traveling between sci-fi. It's yeah. a bit more yeah. Star Wars sci-fi than Mass Effect Star Trek sci-fi of like clean yes. sci-fi. Yes, that was the big takeaway because yeah. obviously this tells us shit all. Uh, and I'm sure yeah. like actually I've, and I've watched all the things of like, here's the 40 things you missed in this thing. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but yeah. this doesn't actually tell me anything about how this game plays. Yeah. But the thing that I did take away is like whenever, like the defining, there are two things I think of when, I, there are three things I think of when I think of Bethesda game. One, Todd Howard, Leather Jacket, and we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Number two, it's broken. Number three, yeah. it's dirty. Every yeah. Bethesda title is like a dirty, grimy thing. Fallout, dirty, Skyrim, yeah. dirty. Like they're big franchises. But this one like- looks decidedly less brown. So decidedly yeah, less yeah. brown, but but I was like, I wonder if they're going to go with like a two thousand and one like super clean like sci fi look, or are we going with like space Moon? like space western or or or, the, or like realistic thing? And the first shot that you see of like the ship and it has all the grime on it, I'm yeah. like, okay, cool, yeah, it is it's this firefly. like yeah, mm. it's it's like a lived in sci fi world, yeah, like yeah. that dirty yeah. outside yeah. of the ship and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, I like what you're doing here because I don't want you to go to like super everything clean, is just like a blue neon, light and like, yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. I'm, I'm, I, I, even I, just sorry, can I just put this detail? This like blinking sandwich. Uh, sandwich. Uh, no, the the, <laughs> yeah, the ammo indicator on the weapon mm. being like kind of a matte, lit, like it's not lit out of the gun, like mm. some sort of neon thing. It looks like it's painted on, but it's actually digital. And I was like, that's a cool sort of motif to fall over the uh, fall on the whole thing to be like, yeah, that grimy. Is it Moon the film? I feel like it's Moon. yeah, Moon. Oh, so, oh, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, want yeah. some of that in it. That yeah, is that yeah. sort of you know, it was shiny design sci-fi, but it's gritty and dusty and yeah, and feels y- lived. Yeah, in. I, I think. Um, but I think what's What's going to be most exciting about it, obviously, is the, is the stories that come out of it and the world that they build. Because I feel like it's been a while since they've created a new IP, and they're going to want to create something that um, you know gives people the opportunity to explore a, a world in a way that that only Bethesda can you know take you on that kind of journey. And 
yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. They're ready yeah, for next really gen cool. too. Like they, <clears throat> like that is one. What thing engine holds. is this? Though? Well, that's what I mean. Bethesda <laughs> games feel it, held back by like building it on their new one. Yeah, uh, yeah, they totally. Yeah. Are. yeah. So okay. that's the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the idea that their games feel hampered by the engines they're designed. Yeah, totally. Have yeah, a vibe, yeah. oh, a look to them. That this will feels... be. This will have jank to it for sure. sure. <laughs> but it's that. It's <laughs> that jank. It's it's, it's a lovable cre- jank. creation engine too. It is a lovable jank because it's it's totally like the concession that you you allow for this world to be this expansive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that about Bethesda games. I'm happy for every glitch okay. I come across. And also, <laughs> uh, and I, I I kind of feel the same way as you, but the thing is, like, because their engine is so old, it's like the game. Their games don't necessarily look good anymore. Yeah. And and then they're janky. Yeah. So if I'm getting a great looking game that's janky, I'm like, well, at least you've you've bought yourself five years of jank yeah. now. Yeah. Where yeah. like I'm okay <laughs> with this yeah, totally. because <laughs> at least it's gonna look great. Uh, this was all in engine. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what the game's gonna look like. But this is in engine stuff, not good pre- enough for me. pre-rendered. Yeah. Um, it looks sick. They've said I. They said not on the f- the show floor, but they said um in some interview somewhere afterwards, and I can't remember exactly. We all remember. It was either. Han Solo or Indiana Jones they're like th- that's Han the- Solo Han Solo yeah it's, that's the adventure you're yeah. going on yeah you take this character on this adventure but they mixed it with something else didn't they Will do you remember no, what it was I, d- I, d- I didn't hear this one Sorry. oh it was uh, Starfield <laughs> Han Solo they mixed it with something the opposite of Han Solo this is Han Solo like- Han Solo uh, it, okay you were right with both. It's a Han Solo simulator. It's NASA meets Indiana Jones. And I was like, those are NASA. two very different things. <laughs> Han Solo is a rebel and NASA is the government. Yeah, <laughs> but I would say Han Solo and Indiana Jones, not just because it's played by the same ca- sure. actor, are very similar yeah. attitude. Yeah. Yes, yeah, totally. Rugged, but yeah. So, yeah. so you're going to, in terms of it being a bit of a space western, like you said, like it's yeah. it's um, it's definitely going to have that kind of vibe if you're some kind of smuggler or you're uh, an also adventure just, hunter or whatever. Also, the, the cool thing that often Bethesda games need is that kind of like loner mentality. It's like you step out yeah, into the world yeah, and yeah, you yeah, need totally. to be like you make your own fortune and if you want to, you know, run off to this corner of the galaxy, you can and ignore what's going on over there. Though so the only thing I'll say with that, and that's totally true, is that in that trailer you see messages from like crewmates on the thing of like yeah. make sure you don't go deaf by opening up the like mm-hmm. blah blah blah. And it's like, and I was going like, oh, I wonder if that means that you have companions or something because yeah. there seems to be some because you're right, whenever it, the other thing I think with Bethesda titles is that like strike out into the world by yourself. Oh, and yeah. they, you know, I'm sure they've learned the mistake of Fallout 4, which was like the the core, uh, like passage of that game, like the the key mission was your son has been kidnapped, and it was like, I'll leave that for a moment to go and sort out this settlement I'm, over I'm gonna here. I'm going to build a town. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like that doesn't feel like the right the motive. Yeah. To be going, <laughs> like I would be going for the kid the Christine, whole time. You get yeah, yeah. another moon settlement needs your help. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's like when they try to put a sense of urgency and even just in a mission where they're like, quick, the door is closing, you've got to get out. And I'm like, I know, but I'm just going to search Luke. in this box for Luke. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> like, totally. <laughs> and I'm just going to look in this cupboard, but I swear I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, the only surprising thing about this was uh, before I thought, oh, this is like a 2022 game, 2023 game. And then there had been some rumors over the last couple of weeks of like, oh, no, it's actually way closer than we think. And then they come out and they're like, no, it's still coming at the end of next year. And right. so that there had been rumors of this potentially coming out at the end of this year, uh, which I think that a lot of people had expected. Mm-hmm. And I had certainly gone like, oh, Starfield's going to be a big presence there and they're going to announce that. The fact that it's still a year and a half away, it'll fly by and cool, like do what you want. But it seems the word was that it was coming out sooner than they actually were. Can we all yeah. as well take a moment to enjoy, this is the best light this game will ever be shone in. Like right now, this trailer in yeah. engine, this is the it's, best. It's just hopes and dreams. Exactly. Right and let's just <laughs> savor that because the next trailer that shows gameplay where you'll go, oh, okay, there's that jank or whatever. And that could Oh, it's fun. a first person shooter. Yeah, it'll be fun to play, but it will not look, uh, sorry, it won't deliver on the things your imagination is doing right at this moment. <laughs> oh, I totally will. Yeah. I know exactly what to expect I, from Bethesda. At this point, you know, I've played so many of their games and it's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm very, very excited. I'm already just like uh, the world building just from that, like the little shots that they give you <laughs> of the little sticker on the helmet saying don't use and like the personality yeah, that you've got so, from just the lived so in detail, in detail there, of yeah. that cabin. I think it's, yeah. The, um, the other thing is someone pointed out that there is an extended Xbox showcase at 3 a.m. tonight. There's more yes, Xbox there is, stuff Yes, there is, yeah. Oh, so it's like yeah, we yeah. might actually see more. I doubt we will, but we might see more yeah, Starfield. Yeah, totally, mm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, or we may see more from speaking of uh, detailed sci fi worlds. Uh, Pete, your first time. Good segue. Halo Infinite, guys. Did you see it? <laughs> Halo's back. 
did you say? Baby. Yeah. Well, the multiplayer is. Uh, I've never seen him this excited. Yeah. It was so funny because I feel like you went into this like semi jaded, being like, oh, I don't know, like you know, Halo's kind of like had its day, and then you started watching it. it and you were like, day. and you were st- you started calling out all the different guns you saw. And you're like, oh my god! It's like, the needle. Up. It's Halo. <laughs> <laughs> the needle. Joseph, needle Staten, never left. Joseph Staten came back and he saved it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So were you happy with you happy with what I you think saw? Everything they showed and said was perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, the game looks great. It looks like it plays like Halo should play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so thrilled. I think the um, I think the uh, little bit of single player that they showed, that interaction with Cortuna, yep. <laughs> as I have dubbed yeah, her, very, uh, very is good. Um, was a bit was a bit flat out of context. It was weird that he was just like bouncing off a bunch of space debris. It was like, yep. this is a bad cinematic. Mm. Um, but then, you know, they started showing the multiplayer and uh, they showed the multiplayer on stage and then they did a, an extended look at what the multiplayer was, like a 10 minute video. And I watched all of that. Uh, and it was, um, yeah, it's just, it's doing all the right things. I think it is the, the biggest thing is that it is free to play. Multiplayer, yeah. free to play, Huge. cross-platform. Huge. It's a brilliant move because they need to get people to back into Halo. Yep. It's like yeah. they could have released this behind a paywall and uh, and COD players aren't going to come across and play it because they don't want to pay that money. And fair enough. And to get an audience back across into Halo is a really important thing. I remember playing Halo 3 when there were 1.7 million people online mm. at a, you know, and they're online right now. Yeah. And it was like, it was the biggest game in the world. It was insane. Uh, and like, I think Halo can totally be that again. And it, it this is- trailer definitely gave me the, uh, like, oh yeah, this could come back. Like mm. this could be this and COD, uh, the things, or like in the way that I fall back into COD as this kind of like just comfy shooter. Like I watched this and thought like, I've betrayed Halo. I haven't, <laughs> I love all the stuff that's here and I've forgotten it almost all the little back and forths and yeah as we saw in the trailer just all the extra things that halo brings to multiplayer that i haven't really and it's just like you don't have an arena shooter like this at like it just hasn't there hasn't been a successful arena shooter in in a while and i mean i guess doom in a way kind of had a good um multiplayer It, it didn't have a a really successful thing that took over the world but the doom multiplayer of the last couple of dooms has been good um but this is like this is i think where where like Xbox could just really come back into the everyone needs a console to be playing this game or they're playing it on PC. Yeah. And like and it's cross play and free to play everywhere so it's like there's going to be an audience and there's always going to be a full free to play thing is so huge. Like it's when I heard that sure. even though like I will have a copy of this game there's something about the idea of the multiplayer being free to play like uh I'll probably play the single player if I hear it's good, I'm not really a Halo guy, mm. but uh, but whenever there's multiplayer attached to like a single player, I'm always like, oh, that's just this like additional thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but and for whatever whatever this is in my brain, the idea that it's like this free to play multiplayer is a barrier of entry that doesn't that is so lowered for me that I'm like, oh, I could probably just install it on my PC and my Xbox and like jump on with you guys and just like try it out because yeah. like you, I play a ton of COD, but if I'm just like okay, I could just flick over to this and see what it's like. Yeah. And the multiplayer looked tons of fun. I never, I've never, i never played Halo multiplayer before in my entire life. Yeah. And this looks like, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I can see why this was such a big deal. Mm. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah I, was, I'm just, I am so, so happy with what they showed off. And the other, the other good thing that they talked about as well um, was, I think, like, from a gameplay perspective, it looks a little closer to um, 3 and, I guess, 4 a little bit than where they kind of have moved around in kind of trying different things to try and to compete with COD because that they lost it. their they market. They did have to yep. really try and like transform it from base arena to more like side by side, three channel yeah. multiplayer. And this is like, no, this looks fun again. Yeah. Like, it yeah. looks like the, 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 a little bit of like battlefield style chaos. The little yeah. storms yeah. will happen. Yeah. 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 Like, God, yeah. this yeah. thing just happened to me, which yeah, rarely happens. In and the other thing they talked about, which was, you know, there's battle passes in every shooter now and the other thing that i mentioned about this oh, battle pass yes. was that the battle pass you buy it you own it forever yes. and you can choose to even if you buy the next battle pass you can choose which battle pass you want to con- you want your experience to be contributing to it is it's just really really clever it is criminal that battle passes expire like the the new cob battle pass came out today i just bought it it means that i was up to like level 
64 or whatever on the last one. Got to? And then the um uh I'm just gonna ignore that. And then the <laughs> and then the um uh, and then I can never earn the rewards for Those the thing that again. I paid money for in yeah. the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's the same, so, it's the same in Destiny. It's the 80s tunes. Damn it. Oh, oh. what a shame. Maybe get the... if you weren't such a dick, then maybe you could... <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh yeah, the cassettes yeah. and they're gone exactly. and they just sit locked in there. This is yeah, it's ridiculous. music tracks you can have playing of 80s. And I like I looked at the ones I missed, I was like are they ever going to bring them back for me to get? It's just like, yeah. So it's you're so right that sense. the things, that, beyond the fact that it looks like it's speaking to Halo players, it's doing all the things that are like, the friction for you to move from your current shooter to just try this is so low yeah. mm. that you may as you well. You have no excuse. And yeah. if you have Game Pass, you already have it, even though it's free, like all that sort of shit. So yeah. Yep, yeah. 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 Cool. I'm just feeling elated. I'm so I'm so happy <laughs> with the, the presentation right. there. So. The one time in the year the Pete's happened. Yeah. Uh, Will. <laughs> yeah. What are you happy about? Uh, I have no idea. There's no way that you could ever. <laughs> He's got <laughs> it. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, come on. <laughs> Can you come into the center here and do a little twirl for I'll me? Do a little dance. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. gonna wear this outfit today. I can't believe you picked it as well. I mean, nothing else has changed for work. You're gonna have to. Like, it's yeah. Really there it is. Yay! There it is. So good. So good. Nice. Look at the so dog. Oh, yeah. As well. Look at that duck yeah. walk out of there. My God. Oh, Will does not skip leg day. Yeah, no. I'll uh, tell you what. Those 12 year old legs. <laughs> God is the galaxy. Will Quill. Will Quill. Handbake. Well like done. Will Quill. Will. Uh, and I liked this, I think. Uh, obviously. <laughs> I've been burnt good by come down. I've been burnt by the, the previous logo and the logo before that. Yeah. In, <laughs> they're cool. Before. So I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, but this is like the part of the Marvel universe I adore. So I'm very excited that something's being tailored for this. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's single player. People are complaining. They don't like that you can't play as a whole Guardians team, but Oh, they can play. Oh, okay, but uh, no, they're right. not complaining about it being not a games as a service. Yeah, so yeah. that's one of the like that was very exciting. Like, there's no at least at launch, no DLC, no paid things. Skins are in the game. MCU skins are in the game at launch. Oh, really? Very was very exciting. That's cool. great. So you can just you can you don't wear like what you're looking at. You can, can get rid of that pretty because I don't like what I'm looking at with <laughs> Peter. Uh, yeah, can, <laughs> yeah, can you wear Christopher? What's his face's face? I don't Chris think it'd probably Chris still Pratt. be the noggin. It'd be the same noggin. Yeah, Same number, right. yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, I think I, that's a, that's a lot of money when you put someone's face in the video yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, I don't want to pay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, obviously, the gameplay that they actually showed in this, like the combat, is maybe a little bit similar to Avengers as well. Like mm -hmm. it, it certainly has. But I I do wonder if you didn't have that comparison, whether it would be more looked at as a Square Enix combat because it's like that kind of lives in that realm mm. generally, like the Final Fantasies and stuff. Anyway, so I don't know. I, I'm I'm annoyed that Avengers is kind of hurt any kind of optimism this game kind of has mm. at, at launch because I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I like that there's story decisions as well. Like, that's exciting. I know they probably won't move much of the story around. Like, they're not going to drop a character because you didn't agree with them or something, like, here. But I've just You can on... vote to sell Rocket or Groot in yeah. this moment. Yeah, <laughs> you can sell it to the lady at the end of this uh, gameplay teaser. I've just finished actually playing... Oh, God. The Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy yep. again, uh, and so seeing dialogue, dialogue options in this did excite me a little bit because I, I, I like a story game. Like I think there was one of those questions earlier uh, in the year whether a good story can weigh out in gameplay, mm. and I feel like this might get me through because it is story driven and it is mm. like a story I'm going to be interested in. So yeah, even if it does fall flat in the gameplay, which in the similar vein to Avengers, I think I'm safe. Yeah, the yeah, story, nice. the dialogue options was, I was very surprised to yeah. see that and the sort of like, you know, I'm sure it won't drastically change, but the branching paths of, of different options that you can select. I I mean, Square Enix are clearly, they're either confident in this or they have nothing else because this was such a huge chunk of their presentation. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 20 minutes opening up their show with this and giving what would normally be, like, I imagine this normally would have been a closed door press demo yeah. Yeah. That, they ha that they put in front of millions of people. Because mm. um, had there been any mention of this beforehand, Will? There'd just been lots of rumours. Like, it, yeah, was, yeah. it right. was one of those games Nothing, that yeah. no one was surprised that it was there, but it was just, a, it, it had never Nice been to see so much yeah. on I, first reveal. I think yeah. that um, I am... I'm keen for this. I'm wondering what the combat is going to be like. I, it's definitely one of those games of like, it's hard to tell how much fun it is yeah. because what you're like, you're seeing just a lot of button presses and I have no context as to what, mo like I know what they're doing. They're directing, they're picking the character and then picking the 
action that that character takes. Yeah. But I don't know about how satisfying it is to put together three, like to order around three other people. Yeah. Um, while yeah. you're playing how as well. How sort of seamless those transitions are. Yeah. 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 And how like, uh, you know, does it feel like you're just constantly burdened with this, having to do this? Or does it feel more like you're executing attacks and they just happen to be coming from someone else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the gameplay was a little hit or miss for me, but I think it's definitely something that I need to get. Well, hands design on looks together. cool though. Yeah. Oh, totally. All the design looks really cool. Um, and then off the back of the fact that they announced, was there a couple of things that were packaged with Marvel's Avengers as continuation? Uh, no, this is this is pretty much hard confirmed that it's separate. separate. Oh, oh no, sorry, DLC. but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the I'm Black saying Panther they, DLC got a bit more. I was cool waiting for it to cross with this in some way, and be like, yeah, right. Oh, you know, I just thought that was so. It's so similar mm. in just the look and feel, and like uh, there's like a celestial head that's an asset from Marvel's Avengers. So people jumped on that, but they were right. quickly like, mm, no, does, we just does we just, Square have the exclusive Marvel li license? I don't think it's a similar vein to EA and Star Wars. Right, I okay. think it's just a bit. <clears throat> well, yeah, like, they right. EA did until they screwed up. Yeah. Yeah, totally. um, so yeah. they took it away from them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I'm not a huge uh, Guardians of the Galaxy fan at all, but um, I think this looks like a really good offering for people who are. Like, it looks like, a, like it could serve the same kind of crowd that liked. Um, that and I was one of these people that liked Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Fallen Order. Fallen, Fallen Order. Order. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Fallen Order. I love Jedi Outcast. Uh, Fallen Order. In like that, it's just really fan servicey. Um, and I think as long as you can like. As long as the combat is fun enough, yeah. I think the story will be good service for people who like I it. I personally think the Guardian series would make a better game than it did a film. Like, I wasn't a particularly big fan of... Oh, the first one was fine. I actually really didn't like the second one. I know there's no... I should have. Um, and then I was like... Part of me, I think, was watching it thinking, this would make a better game, honestly. The amount of colourful characters yep, you have. I totally The agree. interesting yep. worlds, and you can t tell this extended, more interesting story in this universe in i don't know 30 to 60 hours or something depending on if it's like yeah something sizable yeah i totally agree and i think the strength of this as opposed to something like marvel avengers is that it has characters that have tons of personality yeah and a really distinctive thing and as long it may as they nail the humor and the tone <clears throat> yeah that's and there were some funny point. things in this and not all of it's gonna hit and the fact that star lord is like a uh, arrogant dick he's gonna like rub you raw after 60 hours but i think that there is i think there is totally like the fact that it can have a really strong personality whereas when you look at something like avengers it's like this mash of characters that mm. kind of like yeah. and they're so precious with who they are yeah so, yeah like just letting like just we saw in that combat there like it reminds me of um like the real-time final fantasy combat and it's like letting star lord do the uh cassette tape, tape yeah. like mm. super is just like letting it be full of personality, which is a really cool thing. Yeah, I'm excited probably, for you, William. Yeah, it's, same. I'm very excited. It's probably good that the <laughs> film's were the introduction to these characters, though, because I think if this was the first time a lot of people who didn't what read the, the comics, am I looking at? <laughs> you'd be yeah. like, "This is this yeah. is stupid." Yeah, totally. All of this yeah. tree what, raccoon. What is that? I, don't know. I feel like I feel like I, I, it's an easier transition than seeing a CG tree. Or, or or Bradley Cooper as a raccoon. It's like I think playing a video game. I'm used to playing and seeing weird, weird characters. Mm. I'm used to playing as an alien. Sure. Whereas films, it's like I'm not used to raccoons being protagonists. Yeah, I guess I didn't <laughs> love the films, but I at least have some level of connection now through the films. I, 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 I know I agree. With yeah, you. no, yeah. I, I agree. I, 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 agree with I need that setup yeah. to kind of care about these characters. I think otherwise, I, I think in say, a game, I just sure feel like this is dumb. From unless the start. this was a Bioware kind of like Mass Effect style game where yeah. I was going to get to know all of them in that way. I kind of doubt. That, that yeah. way, yeah, <laughs> yeah cool. Uh, I'm excited like for you too as well. Uh, Will, uh, okay, you've all got your AAA multi-million dollar games. Let me introduce you to a game made by two people called Death's Door. Uh, there have been uh, some sort of teasers and announcements about this game uh, over the last few weeks. We'd seen a little bit. Uh, they dropped some more trailers for it. It just, it, this is totally like my kind of jam. You play as a crow who works for a service that sort of like files and manages the death <laughs> Sorry, of the everyone where everyone <laughs> dies in not meaningful ways or something. They explained it. I couldn't quite, I can't quite remember what it is, but the gameplay is kind of this uh, top down, almost like kind of reminds you of Hades style mm -hmm. uh, action combat. Lots of, uh, well, if we just skip forward to some more gameplay stuff. Yeah. Um, 
uh, quite difficult, quite uh, fast and action packed. There's um, <laughs> as we see, it's just bird it's slowly so waddles it's upstairs. So it's oh. adorable. Uh, but it's just got such a cool art style. Uh, I, it's got tons of personality. It's got the Loki style TVA. The birds work for a bureaucratic sure, like, yeah, death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the new thing that's in at the moment, is it? Yeah. 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 Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, this is just something. It comes out in a month. I like that um, it's black and white and the world's colourful as well. Mm. I mean, that might just be that there's a crow. But I think that, like, the, the cutscenes... The cutscenes well, are all yeah. sort of, like, grayscale. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it comes out in a month and uh, there is uh, a certain someone who you may or may not be acquainted with may have a certain copy of a certain part of a video game that they may be playing at some point or another. And the the crow. About, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. And, uh, so I guess we could just say that we look forward to talking about this in the future. Totally. Yes. Nice. But when yeah, does that embargo was... lift? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we can talk about it. Uh, <laughs> so that is, uh, yeah, Death's Door. Something to keep an eye on if you're into that sort of like Hades style combat. And uh, yeah, I, it was the first, one of the first games in the, I think it was in Keeley's thing first show yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, Gosh. cool, Keeley, you're doing that, it, you're doing yeah, it. Yeah. That reminds me of that um, that Ghibli character from Spirited Away, that woman with the pot on her head. Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah, it's got some cool characters. Yeah, I like so, that. yeah, super keen. Beautiful right. art. Beautiful. Angus. Uh, we mentioned Ubisoft. They did a great uh, press conference. And the one that stuck out for me there was, I guess, kind of uh, in obviously tying very closely to Nintendo was Mario Rabbids Sp- Spark of Hope. Sparks of Hope? Sparks yes. of Hope. Peggle um, 2! Peggle 2! <laughs> uh, a sequel to Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, uh, which is a freaking great game. I really enjoyed it. Came out of left field, totally hit it out of the park, and it was just heaps of fun. Great crossover that, again, just shouldn't work and does so well with all these, like, Rabbids interpretation of Nintendo yeah, characters. It's the only time Rabbids have ever been likeable. I, oh, totally. <laughs> I, uh, I finished the game and was just like, it's one of those ones I was like, I just want to play more. I uh, didn't yeah. even dream that we got another one and I'm Same. so excited. Yeah. I yeah. thought it, it had been, uh, after it came out and it reviewed so well, I was like, oh, we're definitely getting more of this. And then just silence. Nothing. radio silence. And, it, yeah. and it, was, it was actually, even just like a couple of months ago, I was like, we're probably never getting another one next. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, look, I mean, it looks like a lot of the same. The one thing I noted, and I could get this completely wrong because I often do this, is that I didn't see in the gameplay uh, much grid. of a, The grid is gone now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I saw an interview with the developers that I think IGN did saying going off the grid, but they didn't really talk about it as much as I was hoping. So it felt like... Yeah, because yeah, everything, yeah, every, <laughs> yeah, everything that I saw, I was like, wow, they're really kind of just run, running around doing whatever. Like, it, it, it could be one of those things where it's like, Step based, yeah. Because I hope they don't. Yeah, I, I right. certainly hope that they don't stray too far, and suddenly you can just go wherever you want. No, to but I do like no, that it's going to be a sure. different. They, they're doing something different yeah. because they could very easily have just gone through the roster of Nintendo characters, slapped a rabbit. Sorry, slapped a Nintendo costume on other rabbits. Just it would be very easy to just continually <laughs> pump out more of these uh, battle arenas to play in. That would have been fun, mm. but I like that they're doing obviously something a little more interesting. Part time warrior says like Valkyria Chronicles, which is a great comp, that, which yeah. is exactly what totally, I did. It yeah, was just like you can yeah. go a certain amount of distance, you can go anywhere, but there's still I, limitations. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be an action point system. Yeah. yeah, it's like and rather than just restricting you to like you move two grids, that's two action points. It's like you move. Yeah, this is that what the Gears of War? Yeah, one that did that. As yeah, well. yeah, 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 that was too. Remember yeah. that? Remember so that? Remember that happy main character? That happy man in that one. Not enough angry guys. Not enough in angry games. men in video games. Angry men. <laughs> uh, yeah, so excited. This, for this just dude. looks great. And yeah, I, I love. I actually love that they didn't go like, here's every Nintendo character as a rabbit. Because again, the potential there is huge with all the Nintendo characters in the roster. Yeah. And like, you've got this star rabbit, which is just messed up. But that's a shine, right? From is it a shine? I think. Yeah, so. you're right. It's a yeah. shine from Galaxy. Um, yeah, it looks like they're telling another really batshit crazy uh, Ubisoft game yeah. uh, story rather than, like, uh, a, yeah, safe, a safe, safe Nintendo yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's what's so fun about this. Uh, uh, so also, yeah. And it's right. cool that Sorry, Nintendo no. are free enough with their characters to allow that to happen because it's just, uh, it's a wonderful it's a expansion of, of their universe. It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, it is... I uh, always like the rabbits, This too. is my... Um, <laughs> really? I fucking love them. This, They're cute. This, They're this is cute. my conspiracy theory, which is, when I was watching this trailer, I was like, this trailer looks too good. This looks too sharp. This runs too Switch smooth. The other, oh. the other clip, and I, and I bet it's running on a Switch Pro. Is it just entirely gameplay? Uh, yeah. The so this one where it's the I was like Nintendo trailers always look good because they have an art style, but it always looks like oh yeah yeah this is running on a Switch like this is that slightly mm. lower resolution everything, and I was like this just looks a little too smooth for me. 
And I reckon they're running it on Switch Pro and we're going to hear I about it. I don't know. I, I feel like they're very smart it. with their design choices for this. It's not design. It's just look at it. Look how sharp everything is. It is a sharp trailer. They, yeah. They're this probably running PC. it on Dolphin emulator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good. it looks great. And sorry, yeah, like getting, there was like an, uh, a, a sort of uh, King of the Sea Neptune style mm. rabbit. Again, nice to see that they've gone like, let's just go weird with the universe, not let's just go Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. totally. So yeah. yeah, looks great. Keen. Keen, keen, keen. Awesome. Steph. Oh, apart from that oh. green haired one with a keyblade at the end. What the fuck was that? I oh, know, I loved that. That was like an emo punk one. Yeah, but that Cute. One, okay. That was yeah. Kingdom Hearts stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Um, okay, so I, I want to talk about something that I'm not like necessarily excited for, but I have like complicated feelings around, mm-hmm. so I thought it'd be good to like air them on mm. the couch. Discuss. Um, uh, I want to talk about the Sea of Thieves uh, Pirates of the Caribbean crossover. Yes. Yeah. Because like I was, uh, like a year ago, I think I was. Well, maybe it was more than a year ago. A year. Oh, you were obsessed. Year no, it was obsessed, obsessed yeah. while we were doing. Uh, two years ago, I was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was obsessed with. Well, you, sorry, her obsession with the C has lasted a long time, but oh, but you, started, you became. Yeah, yeah, it started a little while ago, and you became a pirate legend about two years ago. Two two Christmases ago, I bought you a Sea of Thieves thing, which it, which we threw out recently. The sexy. It wasn't a Sea of Thieves thing. Yeah, the 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 pirate thing. Yeah, it was a it was a piece of, it was a piece, piece of paper art that lit up. It was like a multi layered like it was lovely Etsy it was Etsy thing. It, Some, was, it was lovely anyway, if I was who threw it out twelve. <laughs> And I did give it. Was it. Really, it was a stocking gift. I did give it to my twelve-year-old niece, That's and she right. loves it. So we, we didn't. She throw went, it out. You said you love. You say you we love didn't, Etsy. We that means you have to love everything from Etsy. <laughs> we didn't throw it out. I gifted it to a, the age-appropriate. Is this receipt. the complicated thing you wanted to air your feelings? Yes. On yes. The couch? <laughs> <laughs> also, this is just us last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it was a lovely, thoughtful gift. I'm sorry. No, it was awful. Um. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I played a lot of Sea of Thieves. Yeah. I got to Pirate Legend. And I really, really enjoyed the fact that I think what I liked about it was that um, it was it was online multiplayer gaming that I could play with friends that wasn't stressful in any way. Uh-huh. Because a lot of it is just sailing a boat, <laughs> you know, doing our little quests. Famously and stuff. easy. Occasionally. <laughs> well, you know, if you've got a good crew, uh-huh. you get into a good rhythm with one another while mm-hmm. talking about your day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I really loved the world and uh, occasionally it would have these bouts of PvP, which were kind of really fun because you're kind of all working together and and the best the thing proxy about, chat in that game was so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a guy that sometimes would play would play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme into Good, his mic right. as he went past. There's that, there's that famous clip of like, Captain, yeah. look! And they, yeah. Turn around yeah. like, and they just steamroll over them. Oh, I love it's that. So, yeah. dun, 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 dun. People would role play in it all the time. It was also just like they had such a, a, a great steady stream of updates yeah. to the game. Because when it launched, you know, many people tried it and were like, is this it? Like mm. you go and dig up chests and like can't like – Boxes of fabric around. There was around. a big period before they started that dropping. Of yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. a sizable chunk yeah. of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player base. Then they just started adding like new content to the game. I would say every three or four months there was something new that they yeah, added. They did a great job. Um, mm-hmm. And and a lot of that was the stuff that I really liked was the sto- with the story missions that had a really wonderful kind of stories and puzzles and things that you had to kind of solve and work together to do, um, and really fun multiplayer stuff that they kept adding and new kind of mechanics and. Um, monsters and stuff to fight so I really really enjoyed it but once I'd kind of worked my way through all of the story stuff and I'd hit pirate legend I kind of lost steam on like motivation to stay in that world and um and yeah so I I was interested to see that they had done such a huge deal with Disney to I guess bring either new players to the game or pull people back and a franchise as big and I guess beloved as Pirates of the Caribbean is like is an obvious fit for them um but like putting aside the Captain Jacks, uh, the, the sort of Johnny Depp problematic issues mm-hmm. um, that may uh, exist for people, I don't. I, I find it. I I don't know how I feel about um, taking one Other IP, IP and invading another. Like Fortniteing it. Its own, yeah. See if these is its own world, and I and it has its own law, mm. and I really really like that. And having a, such a well known character suddenly appear in it. Um, kind of breaks it, that for me. Like, yep. Well, they earned yeah, so much yeah. of that, like, respect in the lore and the storytelling through Rare doing really wonderful, uh, yeah, just, it, like, it's pirates, sure, it's a, it's a genre, yeah. but they they owned it and they built this world up and their lore and their legends yeah. and their creatures and their stuff in there. I, I'm with you, like, uh, for all the problems I might have had with the game, I loved how it just felt like it came from their love of wanting to make a pirate game. Yeah. And so you're right, for the Pirates of the Caribbean ones to kind of sidestep mm. in and 
and be like, now our world invades yours. Yeah, yeah I feel I feel yucky about it. <laughs> and he is such a like a um, uh, uh, force a we- of nature. <laughs> yeah, he's a very um, well known character that has well like has one liners and things that they've kind of they've even in the trailer he says bring me that horizon and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like. Looking at it, I, I love the adventure. It all looks like really cool stuff that I really want to experience and I'm, mm. I will go back to the game to play it because I feel like this is the biggest thing that they've brought into the world um, since I've been playing it. But I'm just like, I just wish that that was someone else. You know? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I totally understand your hesitation there. I, I, but I do think it's like the kind of thing that will pe- bring people into Sea of Thieves that just aren't going to go back and play it like yeah. for, for me it's like yeah. this is the kind of thing i mean not for me but like for someone like me who played it at the start and had no reason to go back to it or wasn't compelled enough by the incremental updates this is something that goes like i recognize it and th- that fella right there is who i'm talking about i literally installed the game <laughs> seconds into this trailer wow yeah. i be and uh, so i love that first pirates movie it's cool. i love that film I saw it eight times at the cinema. Yeah. I, I mean... Eight. I, I, that- I will clarify, I was very depressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad for the film, but sure. <laughs> um, the, I, I adore that first film. I just think it's so much fun. This... I, I to- and, and as I was watching, I was like, oh, this is like that... What was that Disney game? What was Disney that Disney? Infinity. Disney, yeah, thank yeah, you, Will. Yeah. Um, it, this is like Disney Infinity, where you've yeah, gone, oh, yeah. you've brought in a, you've brought in a universe. You haven't just brought in like a character has crashed this. You've brought in like they brought in the the um, Davy Jones, Davy Davy Jones. Jones. Like, the like, rest of his crew. Exactly. I'm like, oh no, Barbosa. this is like, this is and this is huge. This is so impressive that you're doing this. This is awesome. I feel really sorry for everyone who has their pirate stories and crew <laughs> and everything who are like it's going to get railroaded in this piece of DLC by this character. Mm. But for me, I was like, I am 100% going to play this. And I will say that getting Bruckheimer design team (laughs) shoehorned into your thing is like, that's a dream, right? Like everything that, every creature that comes from that world looks so much cooler than anything that's been in Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves art design is Beautiful, I've yeah. Spent so, but like, I've but spent in terms so of the character much money design, money on cosmetics in this game. <laughs> it's like, like when that thing attacks on the beach, and I think it's coming up in a shot. But it's like, there's there hasn't been there's been skeletons and different glowy coloured skeletons. Yeah. And it's like now to have these things that are were designed for a film that, that are just really iconic and mm. really cool. Yeah. I think, and the ship, you know, um, Davy Jones' ship. It's it's awesome. And I just hope that this yeah. stuff, like, there's yeah, nothing yeah. like so that. So cool. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a heightened version of the really gritty stuff that we got in, like, uh, Dead Man's Chest and stuff with all those, like, uh, coral creatures and stuff. Yeah. And I'm with you. I, I love the first film. I actually really liked the first three films. I worked at a cinema and watched it, like, hundreds of times because yeah. I could. And they were great fun. It was and just it's, a great fantasy adventure. It was fantastic. Unfortunately, it is the thing of, like, Johnny Depp has not aged well. The character of Captain Jack I don't hasn't aged well for me. And so I feel like what Rare did is they reinvented or they they brought back the life into the the sort of swashbuckling nature of the pirate mm. and I just I think it's it's one of those things where I just got so sick of that character and everyone loving that character that it yeah. feels like he's gonna unless he takes a side sort of carriage they should, they should, I think he'll be the quest giver and yeah, yeah, that's right. like, four that or five times. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. I think and it's definitely saw... not Johnny Depp voicing him either. No, it's not. No, no. But um but yeah, it, I, I think it's one of those situations where it's like see if these almost created a platform or like an engine mm. and, yeah. and and they were just like, well, Disney was like, well, I'm afraid we're going to have to put Pirates of the Caribbean in. We can spend <laughs> the game because <laughs> we can this make is, a Pirates of the Caribbean no game. Yeah, we yeah, would have to this start is from perfect. Scratch. Like, <laughs> have it. it. I don't. I don't want to re. I don't want the Skull and Bones version of Pirates of the Caribbean. I want this. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Out. yeah. And also, it comes out in five days. Yeah. So it was one of the. It was one of the few like you're going to be playing this in a week. Yeah. And I have it installed on my computer, ready to go for launch day. So yeah. we'll, well see. Well, if you need a cool. pirate legend to show you around the seas <laughs> and be disappointed with everything that happens with this expansion. If you need a downer on your ship, then call Steph. You know, and also, really I've got all the sale. good ship cosmetics as well. That's good. I can oh, make. I, I've got the Viva Pinata 
like oh, uh, ship me. cosmetic. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, see, rainbows I, galore. I haven't. The, my only thing is I haven't played it since week one. I hope that I can just jump into this oh, and yeah, like auto can. level a you character should, or something. Yeah. You or you, like there is no character leveling. Okay, cool. Yeah, Good. and they'd be crazy not to make it accessible. Yeah, totally. Like, going, this the point is, is it's bringing anyway. people yeah. to totally. the game. Yeah, like in terms of like your character doesn't get more powerful with levels. Yeah, great. Okay, yeah. No, I'm pumped. I'm so I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Pete, what are you pumped about? Another thing from my uh, fantasy draft, which is Back for Blood. Hey. Um, it was nice to see it in action uh, and looking like better than I Pretty expected good. it to. Uh, it looks like Left 4 Dead, um, but it looks like a, a very modern um, uh, graphic take on it. Uh, it, is, it, it looks like it's going to play exactly like Left 4 Dead. Uh, everything they showed was like they were... One lawsuit short of saying the words left. <laughs> um, so they know. I mean, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at they didn't say it. They wrote it. They wrote it. Um, we'll die if we stay behind. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like, you know, I'm, I'm a massive, massive fan of what they did with Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, I really enjoy playing it with friends. It's a it's a wonderful co-op experience left for dead 2 made it a wonderful pvp experience Mm -hmm. um and they revealed what the pvp the new pvp mode which is like a what more of a wave mode than Mm. a campaign uh you know uh tug of war yep um which was really cool to see uh i do really like the campaign tug of war um and this they you know they hyped up a lot i hope it's as um it has the same tension Yep. The you know the chasing that line of, mm-hmm. of in Left 4 Dead 2 versus mode was always an interesting thing to be like oh we've just got to get a little bit further and like if one of us just bolts to the end yeah. we might it, beat this score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but I think it looks really. I can do it. It was the thing I heard the most. <laughs> playing that game. Yeah. Uh, I think it. I think it. It looks right. It looks arcadey still. Um, it looks gross. It looks. It looks fun. It, um, I, it's always so. got to be a zombie that spits bile at you. Well, there's actually there's like nine zombie variants now, which is a couple more than they used yeah. to. Oh, which so it, maybe you're saying maybe two will spit vomit at you. Different they'll types. Be, they'll of spit bile. it in different ways. Mm. Yeah, into yeah. each other's mouths. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fantastic. I'm, I, Pete. I was a bit skeptical of this when I first saw it. I mentioned it to you, and you were gutted. Not gutted. You were just like you had nothing but good things to say. I, the cinematic trailer they released for this, I much prefer than the first one. There's they, heaps of character. There's in so it. much more character yeah. which was missing in the first one. So that was the thing, I, I, which will play <laughs> nothing into. The the actual gameplay but that was the thing i was like okay i'm on board now totally that's, that's uh, you're right that it's a big it was a big part of the other games was that there were these people with a bit of spunk mm. and uh there's definitely these characters have a good like rapport so yeah. yeah i think that'll be fun to watch the little cutscenes, and 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 yeah the game looks fun there's not much more really to say about it yeah. if you like left for dead then i think it looks like we're in for a, a bit of a treat mm. um come to game pass Coming to Game Pass day oh. one, which is really cool. Yep. You didn't know that? Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, yeah. so cool. It's like, it, it's, yeah, and another one of those, like, good gets for Xbox. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. like, hey, you can play it on your Game Pass straight away. And- the other cool thing, which, again, I'm really happy seeing companies starting to loosen it on stuff like this. If one person in your team has bought future DLC, then everyone gets access to it. Uh, so oh, you yes. up, only one person needs the DLC and then you all get like the new maps or characters. That's great. That's yeah. being dropped. Yeah, cool. so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, some good stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Really solid. Really solid show. Mm. Yep. Wilbo. Me. Uh, this is a... God, why aren't you in a different outfit? I expected you to... That's <laughs> true. You, you don't have an outfit for this next no, day. No, I didn't. <laughs> set a precedent now and we expect to be entertained with How fashion. do I put a filter on this camera? Yeah. <laughs> uh, because my next game is uh, Trek to Yomi. Or yep. I don't know specifically how to speak it. The uh, most beautiful game announced at E3. Mind-boggling. Uh, obviously, Ghost of Tsushima a couple of years ago, or last year, had a, a Karasawa filter that would give this kind of a look, but this yeah. game is built to look like that. And yeah, it, and it framed is, to look like yeah. it. It is yeah. mind-blowing. There's oh. a sequence where the character gets ambushed, which is, I think, this bit, and, like, I almost fell off my seat. It's, like, <laughs> it's so... It's stunning, and... Uh, obviously, there is combat, but oh. like it's just wow. the Steam page doesn't even mention combat. It calls it a cinematic uh, story, good because it is. Look like, at wow! Yeah. Yeah. Using, I think gorgeous. you know, being on a two D plane as well gives you the chance to just frame up yeah. everything beautifully. The yeah. second you've got a three D orbital camera, you're like, "This is what it, I yeah. want you to look at," yeah. but you're like, "Whoop! I'm totally. in the tree." <laughs> this is the one I was talking to you about yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. looks yeah. stunning. 
Uh, yeah, so keen for this dude. So keen. Uh, I think it's coming out next year. 2022, I think it yeah. lands. Uh, yeah, but uh, there's very little else to talk about apart from it's just gorgeous. Cool to see yeah, this yeah. time period getting its dues, like in terms of like experimenting with games as yep. well. Like outside yeah. of, I guess, like the early PlayStation. Uh, what am I going to get wrong? The the the, the ninja. Uh, oh, um, rooftops, uh, Bushido kind of stuff. Blade and stuff. Uh, yeah, they were, but they they were so overly stylized. They were like you yeah. know actiony mm. games. Whereas like again, this just looks like it's paying respect to just how stunning the you how know good, good yeah. I mean, cinema, it's, it's but then the architecture. Yes, yeah, cin- cinema for sure. Yeah, um, just the uh, this was part of Devolver, right? This was a, yes, in yes, the Devolver yeah. showcase, yeah. and it was like <laughs> it's it's just so like jarring in an in a fun uh, way yeah, yeah, to yeah. go from there like just insane sketch comedy to to cutting <laughs> to, to these things and it's like my god and the fact you're playing it with a genital based controller peripheral yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah. unexpected I, 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 would say. <laughs> I think i saw some people in the chat saying how did i miss this uh and i saw and i saw a lot of people going like oh this is like the thing from e3 that you didn't notice and I think that the Devolver showcase can be like, if you're not into the bit that Devolver are giving, yeah. you you you're are sitting stuff. through like twenty minutes of sketch for six minutes of games, yeah. so <laughs> it's it, it's easy to miss to that miss stuff. stuff. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, super keen for this yeah. one. Um, my next one again, um, a very small game. This one coming from a couple of Australian devs, and this is Phantom Abyss. I am really keen to see what this is like. Uh, the idea behind this is it is a um, dungeon procedurally generated dungeon run style game where you need to make it through a gauntlet dungeon uh situation i suppose <laughs> uh, that's not what they actually say uh as you're going through you are hampered uh and trying to compete against the ghosts of other people who have also attempted this procedurally generated dungeon the quirk with it is that once someone beats it, then that dungeon is sealed and no one can ever run it again. Wow. So you own the run of that dungeon and you completed it. Amazing. And it just looks like there's a lot relying on how good it feels to move mm-hmm. and uh, and actually play and and particularly how varied the tile set is yeah. because yeah. it's procedurally generated and it's procedurally generated with the idea that like you're only everyone's only going to play They're this like, once or whatever yeah. uh, it is like it's not like they can have We've got 10,000 of them. They need 10 million of them. Yeah. So I wonder if it's going to be a thing where they'll like lock them and then bring them back as like an opportunity to be like, okay, this one, you know, you you failed at it, but you're going to steal it from someone. Else. Yeah, yeah, get the yeah maybe. Kind of win it back. I don't know what you mean. If it does have that very like, oh, okay, I can see these are rooms. I can imagine that would get like, frustrating yeah. if I kept attempting things and then I'd be like, oh, it's gone again. Yeah, yeah, so you're in the middle of doing your 20th yeah. run and you're feeling in the groove and it's suddenly like you get kicked back to the menu and it's like, so-and-so finished this already. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was like, so everyone, every dungeon must only have one person in it at any time so that you can't get two-thirds of the way through a dungeon and, and then gets, get thrown well, out. Even, even, beat, but even if you it. do like finish that run and it's like you weren't the fastest and now it's locked, it would be just frustrating because you're you're robbed of the opportunity to It's not it. fastest. It's the first person finish to finish it. Finish it. So oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And you just need right, to get to the end. End, yeah, and yeah, therefore yeah. you've done it. Um, it's an interesting idea. It's cool to sure. see it in, in sort of exploring or expanding, I should say, on the Fall Guys mentality of that, like when you see everyone running together, um, it's that sort of funny everyone competing at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, trying not to get distracted by all the ghosts who are like, obviously you could play quite tactfully mm-hmm. to watch a move from someone and see how they died. And think, or, Yeah, yeah. To yeah. me, it's Noodles, like... Noodles is saying you only get to run the dungeon once? <laughs> yes, that's the other thing. That oh, you... so you don't get to try Oh, right, so times. you don't get better. Uh, no, you don't get better at the one dungeon. So yeah, it's yeah. like you go through and then you if you die... You get one shot and that's yeah. it. And so that's die, the other thing. Like, like you need to be You need to be good at the game, not good at remembering this the one. dungeon yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah but so there's a lot of you don't you could, get an opportunity to learn it no actually. but you yeah. could follow the person who got all the way to the end and died just at the end that's the uh, other watching <laughs> how they play yeah. it and then when they die you're like uh-huh i saw what killed them but I you don't know which it. one of the the 20 people oh, yeah. at the start is the right sure, one no no yeah, no but yeah. you know that the 20 people all died yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, otherwise, totally. otherwise you wouldn't be able. But you don't to know be which one dungeon. got the furthest. Yes. which is the best. Yeah, one totally. To follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, might yeah, follow yeah. someone yeah. right, a ghost right, and right is a wrong. So, one. I, so like then by that um, concept, then it doesn't matter if you go fast or slow. 
No, no, no. But you maybe just, things. No, so are it's falling, not like a race. But like yeah, you won't. You'll lose. Things are going to kill you'll you. Lose. Yeah, but you can. The ghost. But you can, as guidance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and also the I think and I can't be sure, but I think there's some stuff where it's like the floor is falling behind you in some parts. Like the, okay, I'm sure so there's something in there that's not like forward. you can just like snail pace your way through. Because Indy this. could have just stopped and the boulder would have gone past him. Exactly. <laughs> and it would have just opened the door. Yeah. Uh, I wonder so, if there will be like um, things that can help you, like that you can unlock, like armor, power ups, and that sort of thing. Yeah, potentially there is magic stuff in here in the trailer so Great yeah idea, I just a cool idea I really like the art style I think it looks really neat it looks like it plays fun a uh, couple of Australian devs I'm kind of keen to talk to them because it's also coming out in early access this month yep. so awesome. in the next like week oh, or so we we'll actually be show. able to play it yeah so maybe we can get them on a show and yeah, talk to them about it uh, maybe but, they can give us some free lives or something yeah <laughs> <Extra> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Cool. first crack at every temple yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, give so us your easiest dungeon <laughs> that is Phantom Abyss Angus <clears throat> round us out with your third pick sure uh Elden Ring. Please. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. We just got to see so much of this game. Yeah. Um, as we mentioned before, rounding out the end of the PC Summer Games Festival. Um, yeah, this was a huge step forward in terms of seeing the gameplay. Uh, this is uh, the next Souls-like. Um, and Miyazaki and Martin, like George R. R. Martin, it's just like, uh, yeah, I... I it's looked so much more Miyazaki. I Would you call this a Souls like or is this a Souls game? It's a Souls game, sorry. This yeah. is being this Miyazaki. Dark Souls 4. Mm. Yeah. Essentially, and what I loved is that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, this for me feels like a return to the weird combination of uh, Western fantasy with, like, yeah, that Asian development. And this is the one with George R. R. Martin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, which so far I'm like, I feel like you just wasted your money. <laughs> I agree. Like, I don't see this. I don't yeah. see the George R. R. Martin, is, given it's a gameplay demo, it's not really you know this the story is what you can interpret through the landscapes and through the creature design but um i'm sure there will be some interesting story elements uh, a huge part of this is the mount that you're riding on and that you're getting around a much bigger world uh i'm seeing splashes of uh, i'm detecting hints of uh mm -hmm. uh uh rotting corpse flesh no the multiple arms climbing the, the things clash of the, the breath oh. of the wild tomb Raider. two Oh, Shadow no. Oh, um, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus. I went hard with the wine bit and I forgot my reference. Mm. Shadow of the Colossus, mm. open world, huge creature design. The creatures look disgusting and awesomely designed as boss battles. Uh, a lot of arms, a lot of limbs, a lot of hands. Um, and, yeah, I'm just intrigued. I have so many questions. Uh, how the horse gets up the wall. Yeah. Um, you don't yeah. need to ask that question. It, just it goes jumps. on the teleporty jumpy portal it thing. Jumps. It just jumps. Uh, I love this like crazy wolf thing. And the, I love the like red hair tall night lady. Yep. Look, this again. All still there, isn't it? I love looking at. <laughs> I love looking at it all and going like, I have Dragon no idea bridge. what any of this actually means in the lore of the game. And that's one of the things I love so much about the Dark Souls series. Uh, there she is. Souls likes is just like becoming so accustomed to knowing all of this stuff once I finish the game and being like, yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. All, I will know what all this means. Who all these are? Uh, who all these people are? And then the reference to tarnished is our new thing. That was our embered. Yeah. That was our. Undead. Mm. I know, that's what they paid George R. R. Martin for. Yeah. Yeah. Like, have you thought of one? Tarnished? <laughs> um, how All that... he had to do was think of his legacy and then... <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Oh. The guy's more talented than I'll ever be, but I'll still call you out on my little Twitch show. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, it just looks wonderful, and I'm just so ready for this. Unfortunately, I really didn't click with Sekiro. So, uh, Sekiro? Yes. Sekiro. 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 Sekiro, thank you. I never really clicked with it. I just didn't like the faster-paced action. This looks. This does look a little faster than... Yeah, it definitely looks Souls, more nimble than... Uh, but I'm okay with a combination of that, if it falls back to a little bit more of your um, your Dark Souls demon side. Oh, I'm so, so yeah. fucking excited for this. I, I don't know what else to interpret from this. Just I just watched it on loop a lot and was just like, this all looks stunning. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think these, yeah, all, be... these all look like the fantasy wallpapers that I had on my PC. Like, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, with some of that really morbid, as I said, kind of like yeah, Miyazaki design, it just looks yeah, ah, 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 ah. Nice. Yeah, it looks so good. You're yeah. right that like my my biggest question at the moment is where is. George R. R. Martin in this because this it'll doesn't be in all the little like fucking bits of paper you pick you up from just, <laughs> and, and it's like and yeah. it's probably in story and it's like the question is does Dark Souls need a story more than it had yeah uh, and one They've thing we know for sure it. is that A Song of Ice and Fire still needs a story because <laughs> uh, it's not done yet of course. <laughs> so it's annoying that he's on and maybe this <laughs> is it maybe this is the last book the yeah. Souls games have never suffered from how sometimes disconnected their story is like that's something that's quite that's what the 
it's fairy tale adds, adds is, to the mystery of it the adds world. to why yeah. this world exists in this way that it does and the bits that you do tie together sometimes feel a bit contrived but who cares like this world doesn't have to make excuses mm -hmm. for why, how it exists this way so I don't want it to I like pet gamers theory that George R. R. Martin is actually just the final boss <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. a few things about this because uh, they did a big um, uh, From did a big interview with IGN uh, the next day, I think, with mm -hmm. this and revealed a ton more info. Uh, there's going to be <laughs> relevant to something we spoke about a couple of weeks ago. Difficulty is going to be more manageable, apparently. Okay. So less roadblocks in the way of players. I don't know if that necessarily means that you are able to shift the difficulty, but it's about like, you don't need to necessarily tackle this boss right now. And maybe there's another way around doing this <laughs> and doing something else. So uh, a bit of that. Um, uh, multiple ways to heal for this. Uh, you've still got stamina, but it's going to be a lot less restrictive than in previous um, Souls games as well. Uh, there are going to be bonfires. There is a fast travel system and there's basically six main areas and each area has a big, big boss that can controls it and then a bunch of sub bosses uh, mm. around that so. sounds like Dark Souls 2 too it totally it, yeah. it's like it really is it's interesting that they've gone back to Souls as a vibe because yeah. I really love I know you weren't a fan of Bloodborne's aesthetic yeah but I loved the Bloodborne aesthetic I liked that eldritch style mm -hmm. thing that it was going with Sekiro different than what they were doing before yeah. um but and Sekiro here, I love yeah you did uh but here we're definitely going back to like the Souls thing but yeah mm. oh so excited and, and coming sooner than I thought, yeah, and uh, yeah, beginning of I, I thought yeah, it was beginning, beginning of next, next year. Yeah, 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 sorry, sooner yeah, no, than I thought. I was yeah. expecting. It, it, oh, it was I thought it could maybe. be like yeah. 2022 November. Yes, right, and it's coming in what January 11th or something. So. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, started yeah. next year. So uh, apparently, but, cool. Yeah. yeah, looks wonderful. And uh, no one was more excited than Jeff Keighley. <laughs> My God, that guy <laughs> was so excited to yeah, uh, unveil it. <laughs> uh, Steph, pick three. Um, so the thing that I'm most excited about from everything that I saw is um, a game that we didn't see any gameplay from, but we saw a really cool trailer, and that's Redfall. So, oh, Left 4 Dead vampires. I don't think so. I don't okay. think so. It, does, it, it, it has a very specific stylistic choice. I really like what we saw of the world. They did a lot with the characters that they showed, all the different kind of personality. Um, this is from... Uh, is, is it Arcane, the developers yep. that do um, Dishonored, um, Deathloop? Death Loop now. So it's, well, yes, it's Arcane Austin, not Arcane Leon. Leon. Arcane Leon did Deathloop and Dishonored. Yeah, Dishonored. Arcane and Austin did Prey. Mm. Obviously the same brand, Prey. Also phenomenal. So yeah. yeah, and also same same engine tech. Um, a group of people I, I just say, different. I would yeah. say that the character models remind me of just oh, totally. yeah, 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 yeah. That kind um, of that, that like so, semi stylized yes. but still realistic facial yeah, structure. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, oh, like Texas has some like cool hip areas. But <laughs> these are French people. Yeah, 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 <laughs> they're yeah, French yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah, French they're really cool. cool. <laughs> I just um, uh, I I really really liked the world that they presented and, and the idea that the kind of there's a kind of magical quality to the vampires that we see. I love that they're kind of like a band of misfits, but yep. all really felt like very specific characters within themselves, really great diverse characters. I liked the, um, even though we didn't see gameplay, um, I think they kind of alluded to that weird purple cube. Yeah, lift it's a lift. Where they yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's an people... old school lift yeah, design, but yeah. it's like, and it lifts you. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about learning about how that came to be, how the, the sort of powers that the humans have. Um, how they came to be at, at their disposal because it, it it sort of appears to be set in a future mm -hmm. where things have changed and I'd love to learn about that world and find out how that happened and all the kind of um, vampires that they come up against looked really cool as well. Just I think as a cinematic um, to get you excited about a game, I think it did a really good job because I saw this and I was like, <coughs> I just want to I want to know those characters and I want to like learn about this world and I think the gameplay looks like it, it's going to be fun if this is kind of alluding to that what it's going to be like. Yeah, where and, it, where and, a COD cinematic has like. Uh, Robert Redford in a boardroom, <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's yeah. what gets you hyped out of game. Yeah. Like this, like shows you so much you of so what much could, be, what is going to be in the game. <laughs> yeah, as With a cinematic without showing you the game of the, of yeah. the mechanic. And yeah. the thing that I'm most excited about is that it looks like a really just fun cooperative shooter. And uh, you know, I, I feel like as, as someone You're who doesn't play a lot of competitive mm. PvP <laughs> shooters, I really love cooperative shooters, and I love cooperative shooters that kind of give people lots of different roles and gadgets and things to kind of work together with. And I think that's what this is going to do. I saw some cool kind of umbrella thing that one chick did as well. And Well, it's um, cool because this uh, the rumor was originally this was a battle royale. 
Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. And oh. They, they shifted away from it, and uh, they've now headed towards that sort of like co-op single play. It's done a reverse Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it, it yeah. Just, it just looks rad, and I think it's going to be really fun to play, and it just looks beautiful. As, as well. If there's any yeah, developer that comes up with some unique weapon and movement and power abilities and combines them all in a way that makes it fun to chain and, yeah. uh, in this case, obviously play cooperatively yeah, totally. and, and yeah. therefore chain other people's weapons powers together, it's these guys. So yeah, in that sense, I think like. I found it strange seeing all these powers for the first time in a cinematic where yeah. I, would have, I would have expected to see the gameplay one and then be like, oh, and here's how they would look in a, in a trailer. So, yeah, yes. yeah. That. That's cool. it definitely looks as cool as it's going to look, I mm. think, yeah. Um, also, vampires are something that we just don't get in enough. a lot of in video games. Video like, games not have in gone this hard blood on lines. zombies. So yeah. Hard on zombies. And I'm just like, I have zombie fatigue a little bit. And so. like, Bloodlines is just like in development hell at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. There's, so there's, there is a vibe here where I'm like, oh yeah, this is, it is cool. I love the style. I love Arcane and I just have so much faith in everything that they do. Um, the and, and also it's four player co-op or you can do single player. Yeah. And I don't know how they, if that becomes like you got three AI teammates or you do your like Guardians thing where you're controlling a group yeah, or something. And, and I'm sure that they'll just, the enemies will scale and stuff like that, yeah. you know, based on. But on you're right about the. We the, could play and we there's could. four of us. You're right about the yeah. creatures. And Will and could we'll, film I'm, it. I'm going to be the little robot. You can be the little robot. robot. Yeah, great. <laughs> the little failed Boston Dynamics one that got <laughs> two legs instead of four. It does look like a Boston Dynamics. It's, you're right it's, about Le it's Leon Dynamics. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you're right about putting a spin on vampires in the sense that they have they are creatures in this rather than the traditional. They're, and they're, they seem very fantasy. Kind yeah, of which inspired. like the sort of long, sharp limbs versus yeah. like so. It's a combination of the zombie horde style, but they've got personality and they've got attitude, which I think is <laughs> you're right. We've just become so numb to zombies because they literally don't have any personality. Or yeah. Very yeah, yeah, vampires yeah. are cool and sexy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but there's nothing for, sexy about zombies. No, like, yeah, but, yeah you put it in and it falls off for so long now too. I think in games. Like, yeah, that's true. Like in a cliched way, so this mm, is cool. Mm, mm. And you know what? I got big. Wolfenstein vibes from this in terms of like the group of people like the new Wolfenstein like New Order and stuff mm. where it's like I loved hanging out with that group of characters so much that's yeah. the kind of vibe I got from like this band of misfits which obviously is a very big trope but yeah I'm, I'm with you I was really hyped for this even though I don't technically know anything about them. yeah 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 <laughs> I, I, like there's a lot of lore alluded to yeah. here yeah. which is really exciting yeah, yeah. Peter Burns uh, yeah uh, b boringly I picked three shooters, but they're all very different shooters. Yep. And my final pick was uh, Battlefield 2042. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting them ready. <laughs> uh, Battlefield's back, baby. Wow. Um, you know, yeah. I, I always... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, kicks up my heart. Oh, God. Uh, I, I always enjoy running around in Battlefield. Um, you know, I usually play them for the first few months after they launch and fall off. Um, I... Loved one. I probably played less of five than any Battlefield since I started playing Battlefield games. Um, and and this just looks like <laughs> they've just got this new hardware. They've got this new power to play with and they can put in ridiculous sandstorms. Yeah. And they can just have a whole lot of fun. And, the you know, Battlefield is just about these gigantic battles that are going on and the small part that you play in them is yep. always always feels important yeah it always feels epic yeah there's something exploding in front of you uh and it's <laughs> and and naturally not not like pre-rendered yeah. not designed yeah. you're right it's yeah. like yeah. someone just crashed in front of me it, and it a always flaming hard yeah. tie bounced yeah. over me because of the physics system not because it's a cod cut scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's just it's so breathtaking to quote Keanu Reeves. You're breathtaking. Um, so I, uh, I think everything they showed uh, is really an exciting look at a new battlefield. Uh, it's getting a lot of hype in a positive way. That first trailer was the, so good. That like the their trailer that should have trailer. had chaos as mm. every third word. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Their reveal trailer was so batshit crazy and, and long and a, a long like four minutes. So much fun leaning into that idea of like the battlefield moments of like the guy jumping out of the yeah, jet yeah, yeah. and, yeah. and then moments because people made them happen in the game. Yeah, that the developers probably didn't entirely think would be a thing. And then seeing the gameplay, my only thing with this gameplay trailer was like I feel like we saw the dust world a lot and i wanted to see some things that weren't just 
totally covered in red dust the whole time. Yeah, but we do. Cut like, a- look at the size of this level. I know. Yeah, we do cut away to. I think they show in a little montage at the end of this the snow world. There's a shipwreck. Snow- yeah, yeah, there's yeah. A massive <laughs> yeah. shipwreck yeah. thing. It's yeah. like there does look like there's some cool locations, totally. but they what they show off this one because they're like, hey, there's a dust storm, but also totally. there's a du- there's a sand tornado that takes <laughs> yeah. through. It's, oh, it's I'm it's, s- I am so excited <laughs> for this. I really respected that they did this trailer as yeah, a like gameplay version of the cinematic now. Yeah, so you yeah, saw yeah, them yeah. in the little uh, tuk-tuk driving mm, away from the mm, sandstorm, or you saw them launch the the, the quad bike at the chopper. Launch is the perfect and it's way like, to choose. You, yeah, because <laughs> you'd done that in the cinematic trailer, and you're kind of proving that it's like, hey, you remember, you can do this, this in the is, game. This yeah, is not just totally. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not this cut scene, tailored yeah. cutscene that you yeah. never yeah, actually yeah, pull yeah. off in real yeah. life. So it's, it's great. It the only great. thing about this is it's going to cost you 110 bucks, and there's no single player. And it's just multiplayer. Unless. And Halo's Halo's multiplayer is coming out for free. COD is free. Like Warzone is free. 110 is Fortnite a lot. is free. Apex is free. Yeah. So it's it's trying to big battlefields. I, I mean, many people in them. <laughs> I will absolutely. I would. I, I will absolutely buy this. But yeah. it, um, it will probably be EA Game Pass. EA Play to Game Pass. After a couple of months yep. of sitting with empty service, yeah. this would be huge. <laughs> Just driving a tuk tuk around Game Pass, Game Pass exactly. if they could get it day one. Yeah, yeah, if they yeah. could, if they could wrangle day one, which there yeah. have been some rumours that it still could happen, and they're just holding off on that announcement a bit um, to not entirely piss off Sony too much. But uh, uh, yeah, that's the on- the only downside is that yeah, it's multiplayer only, one hundred and ten bucks, and I think that, look at it, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. The money is on the screen at least. <laughs> yeah, like, like the difference is that you're going like it's not just buy this skin that comes out every two days where yeah. you can look like uh, yeah. fucking Captain Marvel Little, little tweaks banana, like this, like like changing your weapon attachments on the fly and stuff. Like they show, they gave us little tastes of like things, things that, that are, they've improved. That feel like um, and know, everything else is the same as it's always been except it looks a little bit better. Yeah. Um, to the point that I'm excited because yeah, we've been chatting about the idea of like we're going to get the band back together. Everyone who played this together, we're like just quietly just testing the waters of like we can all get the server back up. And yeah, all, like, there's a <laughs> Facebook <laughs> messenger group that's like, so old, old like good game reignited, and reignited. Like, yeah. yeah, like anyone still here? Uh, <laughs> and also, the rumor is that there was a single player on this, and then COVID kind of derailed a lot of it, uh, and they just went. We're actually just going to lean hard into the multiplayer. So yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. I'm excited for this as well. Uh, Will, mm-hmm. your third pick. My final pick is a game that, uh, I, if we all remember, the last night, which was this crazy neon pixel uh, game. Obviously, lots of controversy with the dev. It's pretty much disappeared. Uh, thankfully, a game has come along and replaced it. Hey. 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 A game called Replace. Hey. Hey. That's why it's yeah. funny. You're clever. I, I, I worked on that one. I, I worked out that, and then I and then I brought my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, that's all little Will has that to do. I'm done. I'm this. spent. That's I earn my paycheck for this week. <laughs> yeah. uh, we were talking about it last week with Backbone, like uh, ray traced pixels, and this game just came along and was like, yeah, we can do that and we can look real real sexy. This looks stunning. Um, mean. Yeah, I, again, it's a game that, you know, is distant 2022. There's not much in terms of gameplay. There's a few combat sequences in it, but uh, it looks very lovely. I mean, this section, less so. It's more the back half of the trailer when you get stuff like this with, like, depth of field effects on yeah. a voxel yeah. background. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's yeah. stunning. Nice with foreground background going on. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's like... I mean, this game to me in the middle of that uh, Xbox briefing was like, this is the point where I was like, they've just knocked this shit out of the park. Yeah. Mm. Because like they started with like Stalker 2, you know, it's like this game, like Stalker 2 looks like the best looking game I've ever seen. (laughs) And we're not even talking about that. Uh, They had party animals. (laughs) Yeah, I know. (laughs) Front and center. (laughs) Oh, cool. They put all their, you know, their first party IP from Bethesda and Xbox, which all looked really cool. And and then there's like little things like this they've peppered throughout, which are just like this. I mean, what a design, right? There's nothing that looks like it. And like, yeah, we've been sort of, continually uh, in, uh, increasing what that side scroller can do with cool pixel retro graphics like we've gone all the way back to like it looks like an old game and then we've slowly but surely over the years found ways to add new technology to an older aesthetic that makes it really pop mm. and here it does feel like we're at the culmination of like yeah you talk that the, the lighting effects the depth of focus the camera shift and tilt that's there that makes it feel like it's, it's so cool 2D i wonder if that's in the game 
Um, I hope so. And then, yeah, this the, the combat that we're seeing looks fluid and fun, which for me, if it's going to be one of these kind of games, uh, I do love it when stuff like this, the little sort of like uh, the shooty action, the flips, it's like, yeah, I don't know. That just feels like if that can complement fast camera movement and in a cool aesthetic, it's just, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so keen for this. Good. Good pick, William. Lovely. Good pick, William. Uh, all right, and I will round it out with a pick that you may not have expected, but uh, I've, I've had your two indies, and now I'll go to a big game, and uh, it's Forza Horizon 5. It's when you, when I saw this in the script, I was like, he's got a surprise lined up for us, because there's no way it's Forza Horizon 5. He, else. he must have misspelled the Danganronpa trilogy <laughs> coming <laughs> to the Switch as a physical-only release. <laughs> <laughs> Is a dating deck builder now? <laughs> uh, so I love the Horizon series. It is so much fun. It is my favorite uh, racing game. And that's not saying much because I don't play any other racing games. Yep. <laughs> um, it is a, uh, this one is going to Mexico. The thing I love about these games is that it's very, they're always just very low stakes. It's yeah, just like yeah, cruise yeah. around, yeah. do a thing if you want. If you fail it, retry it. You're not spending all your time in menus. It, it nailed that thing of like the open world driving game where you interact with everything in the open world. Mm. I've never liked just doing the laps around the thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Mexico looks phenomenal. Mm. This game looks phenomenal. Every racing game looks phenomenal. Every year we see a racing game, we're like, I can't believe this is what video games look like yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe this is what video games look like games. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. basketball games just look like a broadcast. Sweaty game. tall yeah. people and cars with water on them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it just, it looks great. But the thing that is really drawing uh, me to this is oh. the, uh, I know, um, is the uh, oh. the things that they say are in it, the modes in it. So there's an open world battle royale mode called the eliminator like you're driving away from a storm yeah which is like cool okay whatever that sounds like fun uh the thing that i am really excited about is that there's a kind of like single player mission where basically there's a there's hundreds of like challenges and vistas and things to do across the world so it basically takes you on a tour of mexico in this single player which from the sound of it really reminds me of burnout paradise the thing that I did, which was like most of Burnout Paradise for me was just going around and collecting everything yeah. as opposed to like participating in a lot of the events. Mm. The idea that I'm exploring this world as a sort of campaign to go like, go here and go to these three vistas and do this thing. Mm. That's like super chill out for me. And I really like that. Yeah. And then the opposite of that is the event lab thing that's just teased at the end of this trailer, Will, where it it's like build your own I fucking Takashi's castle uh car stunt yeah. obs- and like build oh, your own, build your own oh. wacky bat shit stuff oh, that's like awesome. driving through bowling pins and big oh yeah, it's not, it's not yeah, yeah. And, it was in it a, like they, they played some i think it was yeah. in like more of a and this is what the game looks like yeah oh, yeah it was yeah. in that seven minute one yeah. yeah and is it like a you know you can share your creations online and yeah like yeah and, and the tool set looks awesome mm-hmm. it just looks like it will be so much fun uh there's a lot of social stuff built into this about being able to like easily join and drop away from people i'm never going to use that but yeah yeah Uh, Yeah. i mean i I would say i love this series as well three peaked for me not just being in australia but being the perfect combination of the festival thing that they were running with for so long with Mm. with one two and three Mm. um and it was like it was there it served its purpose to drive uh you around the map but it didn't feel too in your face you know there was the voice the guy and the girl who's pretty hard out there and all that stuff which i'm used to (laughs) um just when i drive in general but it by four it just started to really not feel like it worked for me yep uh i didn't like the uk map i thought it was pretty uninspired yeah, it too. looked gorgeous but it was like it didn't have the topography to be an interesting place to want to explore um and then i actually wanted to play it with some mates recently and we jumped in that yeah, is a is hell like of a, a lot of pinatas yeah. whoa <laughs> like um, mode, we then. tried to jump in and play it and find each other in matches and stuff and it just was a bit it was look how real this guy looks <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Uh, it was just it was a clusterfuck by the end of it of like all the the, the tour festival esque stuff and I'm really glad that this trailer didn't seem to have much of it I'm sure there'll be DJs that are telling you where to <laughs> oh go yeah but stuff. like vibe wise it is so like and welcome to Mexico like this is like an ad from the Mexican tourism yep. authority yeah, as opposed totally. to and the best thing this series could do is shift to a hey this is a holiday 
emulator uh, yep. racing game <laughs> yes. room. Go there and enjoy the world. And the and Especially at a time like this. Exactly. You're totally right. I don't want to go there to be racking up points for a festival. I want to be going there because I just want to go on cruisy drives and then have races in between. Nice. And I feel like that. I'm hoping that that's where they're going with this one because I think that would be a perfect fit for it. And I really do hope that that single player thing is like a tour Sounds of Mexico like as yeah. opposed to like car festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. For me, it's like I lo- I played heaps of Forza Horizon 3 as well uh, and I skipped four not because I didn't think England looked interesting, even though I heard that it wasn't as good. Uh, mainly because it, it, it feels a little bit like a FIFA-y kind of thing to me that I'll jump into every like second or third iteration. Not enough because changes it's like, between Not them. enough changes between yeah. them, uh, even though the maps might be beautiful every time. They had the seasons but it's like, in four, which they brought in five in this one as well. This yeah. stuff in terms of the geo-modding location mapping stuff. Uh, Photo tele- photographic. Yeah, it yeah. looks I, I will ins- say, as like a VFX, no, whenever they say it, a part of me goes, it's cheating. That's the yeah, way you yeah, just yeah. photograph yeah, the right. and put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's called making a movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it looks great and it looks pioneering in the way that I think three went out to Outback Australia and they just shot skyboxes yeah. for months of yeah. Australia to get the stars, the clouds, and that's what yeah. the technology we see in all the future Horizon games yeah. have done. I hope that's what they are bringing to this one. So will this be your job? Yeah, I'm totally I'm, yeah, because I missed the last one, I'm totally ready to because like I, I'm with you. I like I'm not into doing i'm just into relaxing in the world yeah and it's like i haven't done that in a while now and it's nice to have another big thing to just drive around like totally. in in three you of yeah three you would like just drive up to a garage on a house in the middle of nowhere and it's like there's a porsche in there yeah now you own the porsche yeah and it's totally. like oh nice yeah. <laughs> and and if it can encourage that in a yeah in a sort of single player kind of way yeah i'm sure yeah. and the best part is the protagonist nice. he's a furious male he's driver so angry who just sits in there and goes on relaxing drives so again props to the developers go. for that well done. it's about time the angry white man got his due um all right those are the games that were announced at E3 that we are keen for. There's a ton of other ones as well. There are people out there furious we didn't talk about Metroid. Furious we didn't talk about Warrior. WarioWare. WarioWare. But we only decided to talk about the good games, and we'll be back after this show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, that God. was such a good... <laughs> games. Ah, oh, I mean, ah, oh, sorry to ruin the moment. I'm just going to invert because I'm a madman. Are they going to be like sexy square robots who are just like, <laughs> I'm not saying I find squares sexy. I'm not saying they're not sexy either. Let's go to the club. <laughs> no, no, come on, Gus. This is definitely going to come in handy. What? That is trippy as balls. I see the graphics, and then I go... I just needed you all to see how good this game was. Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, that's not very convenient. He's wearing a helmet, guys. He's fine. We could have been upgrading the Negatron Collider. <laughs> it's... Anyone want to guess? It's a human ratchet seat. That should be good. All done? Yeah. Great. Uh, so we just saved them in a folder marked patrons. And so for that one, it would be Mason, not Nathan. Cool. Nathan. No, tricky. I can see what happened there. It's Mason, not Nathan. Cool. So Mason with an N, so Nathan. I can't help but hear you say Nathan again. It is Mason. Mason is the phone. N-A-T-H-A-N. Go over this a few times. Okay, quick exercise. I'll say the word, you repeat it back. Mason. Nathan. Nope, Mason. Nathan. Now I'm thinking Nathan. Mason. 
Nathan. Nathan? Nathan. Ugh! Okay. Mason, not Nathan. Mason, not Nathan. Mason. Nathan. No, Mason. Nathan. <laughs> Mason, not Nathan. Ready? Yep. Go. Nathan. Mason. Nathan. <laughs> Mason. 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 Oh, what is... Nathan. 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 <laughs> Mason. Nathan. <laughs> Mason. Nathan. No. Oh. Mason. Wait, what? What? The thing you said before. Mason. Fucking kill you! Always remember, it's Nathan, not Mason. Oh, oh my god! Hey! Everyone on the couch agrees with Vesuvius, who says that clacky collecting noise pokes me in the good brain place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then that, even, the, even the death one at the end, the <laughs> boo. Like yeah. That's like ASMR I want to fall asleep so to. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everyone, uh, who sent in the word from our sponsors. Uh, we saw the melodic storm there, and it's Jep. Yep. Uh, is that the end of the It's Jep trilogy? That was, uh, according to the clip, final. Final. So, no. There you go. No, that was Unless the you export just meant final was final export. Yeah, which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Will. You final know. this one, oh one this one for sure final. <laughs> uh, we w obviously went very long on E3, and so uh, we're not going to be doing a post show tonight, unfortunately, because uh, also uh, Gus is very exhausted. Pete is quite sick. Steph and I are totally up for it, but you know, we can't. Do it. Steph and I have never hosted anything, just the two of us, so there's no <laughs> way that we could possibly do that. Um, but before we finish, we do need to go over the E3 bingo card to really put the stamp on e3 what isn't oh. that sound very good i think no it was the end of it again it did that fucking thing oh, where it. Oh, there it is. Ah, there it. Yeah. presented vp e3 drinking game yeah. presented by nigrotex aka nick belling uh who tweeted out this this evening mm -hmm. 19 minutes before we went to air so i'm in the uber eats app and i've just clicked search which has brought up things i've apparently searched for before the list includes dumplings eggs benedict Thai and donuts. I'm definitely responsible for the donuts part. <laughs> yeah. uh, and my favorite, cheese. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a thing? Yeah. Can, you, can you just search ingredients? You know how like you can order Uber Eats from like BP? BP petrol oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I, I don't want to shame here, but like uh, when that petrol happens, cheese. I want to turn. I want them to turn up with a bunch of things you can only get from a servo. If they turned up with a block of cheese, I'd be pretty down. I'd be like, I want boxes of Cornettos and like all mm. the those kind of yeah, things. Yeah, okay. You, you know, remember at the servo how the cheese is really expensive? Yeah, it's like yeah. It's like twelve dollars for yeah. a thing Everything's of craft singles. Expensive there. Yeah, yeah, that's you're yeah. paying for the convenience. Yeah. yeah. That's why sure, it's called uh, a convenience store. <sighs> Drink your game. Haven't we all learned? Let's go through and uh, see. Uh, this is how we finish off E3 by uh, looking at our predictions. What did we get right? More importantly, what this did we get wrong? Card. Here was uh, what we had. And going top row, left to right. Gus, did you puke in a road cone? It wasn't a road cone per se. Okay. Um, no. That's a half point. Uh, Pete, was there a Jet and Fallen Order sequel announced with a loose Kenobi tie-in? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Put it up. <laughs> There's a floor in this. <laughs> there was uh, not. There, there was, was not. not. Mm. Kojima's next game. Uh, Kojima yeah. was there. I feel like this is technically correct. Really? We talked about Director's it. cut. Uh, Director's someone cut. made such a good point about the director's cut. It was like... We thought that Kojima went... What was that Photoshop? Uh, Photoshop. Photoshop. Uh, Kojima like, went out on his own, left yeah. Konami so he could be the director of his own studio. Is not the original, the director's cut. It's directed, produced, written, and edited by Hideo. And he lets you know it. Yeah. 
Mm. Who the fuck else was interfering? Uh, I. How do we feel about the next game being the director's cut? I don't. I like that's a half point again, mate. Half, half point. point. Half yeah. point. Yeah. Pete, Pete you we, did suggest that he, he did announce his next game, and it's a nine eleven simulator. <laughs> I was, I was oh. gonna say it again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Good. There's a reason he dropped that hint. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm proud of you for doubling down on that. It's <laughs> <laughs> two surprise releases. We got footage, but we got uh, not surprise release, but it's very soon. Yeah, yeah all that doesn't come out. Yep. Will was there a Lego Marvel game announced before Star Wars? There's no Lego at all. So there's no oh, yeah, Lego at all. No, the Skywalker Saga is still He's very much in limbo, down. which is difficult for <laughs> Duck Pete. a bit. Yeah, it's difficult for Pete uh, and sad for Will. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what is not sad for anyone. Twelve minutes. Not only getting the pre Christmas release, place. but also getting an interview with the cast. Yep. Smashed it. Two I points. Feel like you don't get those actors involved in your game and not milk them for all their work. Oh yeah. yeah. And yeah, that yeah, was so. the second half of that video, was they just, milk just milking. Just milking. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I feel uh, like we put that on the board, Will. We bro- what is going on? Have we broken this? I don't know what's happening, Gus. <laughs> hang on, let me get you guys. Yeah, Gus, go and check on. Hang on, hang on. It's going across now. It's good. There we hey, go. Hey, take take a drink. Yes. Wait, what? Take a drink. Very much. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> uh, full Terrible. circle. Terrible. Um, Final Fantasy Seven Part Two reveal. Nope. No. Something, Something behind Phil, Phil Spencer. Uh, no. There was a there was Two a L's big Phil? Xbox logo. Yes. Two L's in. Was Fred? there no. no hidden joke? Maybe we don't know it yet. What? My uh, best friend's called true. Phil with two L's, so I just there instinctively do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no you're right. Maybe we're, well, unless the next game is like called The Void, because he was basically just standing in front of like a. A black <coughs> void with the Xbox logo, but yeah. yeah. But if you like sharpen and enhance, oh yeah, 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 yeah. change the and you bring up the change levels, the gamma. And you it. Guess who's behind him? <laughs> Kojima in the shadows, yeah. uh, on the shelf. <laughs> so that uh, is yet to be revealed. Ambiguous CGI trailer. I would put forward that uh, contraband. Yeah. Yep. From the Just yeah. Cause dev. Oh, yep. yes. Of going, yep. everyone being like, okay, this is cool. And then it just what goes cut band, oh, and you're like, so don't know anything. <laughs> Steely Dan in a yep. trailer? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Right. Good. Give me that. Uh, give us a drink. A drink. Uh, Roller Champs release. No release. A, a tweet saying <laughs> we're sorry. Uh, the game. So that's a drink. Coming. So uh, the game is still coming out yeah. in 2021. Uh, so it's hope maybe the only game I'll get in my draft yeah. picks. Yeah. Uh, but no footage, no trailer, no actual release date, no playable. Fo- yeah, nothing. Nothing. Uh, Gus nothing. hoping for a release, getting an apology tweet. Apparently they've been doing lots of um, like multiplayer. There's another test in Brazil or something happening. In Europe yeah. as well, yeah, yeah, yeah and we yeah, just yeah. haven't heard too much about it. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run Remastered. Nothing. Nope. No, I Rival crash. Studio joins Game Pass with a hug. Uh, um, it, uh, I don't know. Did we zoom and enhance enough on the on the Xbox presser? <laughs> no, that didn't uh, happen at all. Didn't happen. The hug didn't happen and no uh, Rival Studio. Uh, Devolver Digital no Devolver. Genital Game. Uh, no, unless we do take that... Um, Trek to that, Yuma has a... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, please no no no, 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 no. So that's a no as well. Uh, no. New Tomb Raider, nope. nope. Breath of the Wild wins Game, game of show. The it opposite definitely doesn't. Wow. Uh, pour a drink. Don't take a drink. Pour one out. Pour one out, guys. Pour one out. I can't it believe does. you're so... Angry, because I feel like what you're angry about is just the trailer. Nothing act- to do with the game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, like the cut. You're like, tra- well, cut this, this looks cool, probably. but the trailer cut was bad. There's specific expectations for what part of the game that they showed mm. was not met. Yeah. I, I know this could, I could go on about this all night. I don't want to, but Please like do. a huge part of me for E3 is how it's presented. Yeah. Okay. And so for me, like that's what I hang out. When I said at the very start, I wasn't blown away by E3. There was no trailer in particular in the theater of trailers that yep. I was just like, yeah. oh, you yep. didn't dead island me. Dead island? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or you didn't just catch me off guard with something that just went, that is the best way you could have shown it. Yeah, Redfall, right. we mentioned earlier. Red, Redfall? Redfall was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I didn't actually like that trailer. I liked what was happening in there, but you know. So, yeah, okay. so yeah, that for me, uh, that's. That's why Breath of the Wild did not. Although someone did mention in the chat, uh, Skyward Drip might be the name of it. So I'm a fan Skyward of that. Skyward Drip. If that was the name of the God of damn it. Skyward Drip. That would oh, be no. awful. But that, then it's just like all about his Drip. different cool outfits. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I, does he get that? 
No, 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 no. He doesn't know what drip is. No. But for a second there, I thought that that's what he oh, actually meant, and I was like, oh no. No, no. Someone in the chat when we were joking about yeah, yeah. the names of what the game could be, and I said drip. the mechanic is the yeah, thing, yeah. and you drip upwards. They said it should be the Legend of Zelda Skyward oh, Drip. Yeah. Because before you were talking about the fact that he had so many he different had so many outfits, outfits on, and you were like, I wonder if it's like the same. Drip is like drip. a way to describe. Drip is what the kids say when you look cool. You're well dressed. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, I never heard that. Yeah, so check out my drip right now. I've said this on our show multiple times. Yeah. I have that bit in my old There's ears no that don't feeling. hear it now. So there we go. Moving on. No one's getting drunk enough on this bingo card. No. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like they're really hard. Be playing bingo and losing badly. There you go. This past year has been really hard from Gat. Yes, definitely. Yes. Basically, everyone's had a version of that. Yeah. 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 So I, I think multiple drinks. Gat takes a drink. Failed pandemic joke? Uh, uh, there was a. Two? I feel like there was something in that trailer that was. Outer oh, Wilds 2. But that was not a failed joke. Wasn't the Outer yeah. Wilds 2 landed. was a triumphant yeah. trailer. Yeah. That was yeah. a good trailer. That was yeah, a, that, that was, was a fun. great trailer. Yeah. Uh, the, the ending of that, of just going like, we haven't done anything. <laughs> All we've done is come up with a name and here it is. Yeah. It's just like, oh, oh so fantastic. funny. Yeah. So, um, now look. Un uh, unneeded uh, musical act. Yes. Uh, Tons, and you, we just never saw them because yeah, it was all they're the in filler, all the filler stuff. stuff. I even posted stuff. some screenshots oh, in the Discord really? of people going. I was like, I need a music like, I need a music. Go, yeah. yeah. So that away, like, multiple drinks for that one. Awkward celebrity cameo. Oh yeah, <laughs> you better believe it. Jeff uh, go uh, go uh, Goldblum uh, had a uh, uh, it's, it's, it's had a little had world, world had a, premiere. A, a premiere, <laughs> as uh, as you as you call them. Your um your your auto auto thing that you want me to to, to to read. I'm just gonna not do it. And the producer's like, fuck. Yeah, you, you missed all the times where he's like barreling the camera and then constantly looking off at the producer going, yeah, that's right. You're paying me for this. <laughs> uh, incredible. Um, very, very good. And then... Oh, we uh, slipped off. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. No Indiana Gameplay? Con at all. I think there might have been like a picture of the logo or something uh, posted later. Ah, uh, but... There's Starfield is an Indiana, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. NASA NASA game. Oh, shit. But we didn't see gameplay. Uh, no, it was Harrison oh, Ford meets no NASA. No. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Fortnite oh. Snyder versus Crossover. <laughs> the most realistic and... one. Yeah. It was a good call, no. but it didn't happen. Them. Nope. Mario Kart 9. No. Nothing. Uh, Witcher uh, 4 T's. <laughs> not even a logo. Never going to happen. No, not no. even a, 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 a sort of choir chord of... What are the singers? How do they do that like cool screaming music that you really like? Oh, they're like folk singers. Yeah, nothing like... Not even that. Folk singers are screaming choir? No, yeah, no. What? But I mean... The, the, you know, the cool screaming music. Things. Oh, yes, folk singers. The Witcher theme is... I like, has ah, Bach. You know, like screaming. <laughs> yeah, and there's yeah, yeah, some yeah. embers. Yeah. 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 Not even that. Uh, but... Oh, yeah. Rounding it out, everyone pour yourself a big one. Uh, no leather for Todd, Will. Mm. We're totally gone. It's because Will's yeah. wearing it all. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know what you meant. Do you have I more? Will's, Will's riffing. Right. He's doing a bit. That's no, there's no oh, shit. Oh, He's wow. just being super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, I got it. Will took all the No one, no one believed me. Otherwise, this is the one that I said specifically, yeah. you're an idiot, William. Mm -hmm. he yeah. said there's no worked. way Todd Howard will ever go outside without leather. Mm -hmm. And I believe I said he was made of le leather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He tanned But I, I, I actually think it's... It, I think we also spoke about it's part of the contract of, like, if we're going to buy Bethesda, only Phil Spencer Only is Phil allowed to wear leather, leather. and, true, and yeah. Phil didn't wear wear leather on this but he wanted the option of being able to wear yes, leather totally. so yeah yep. he so power no played Todd. Todd Howard by saying you can't wear leather I will and then when leather. he didn't then Todd's then like yeah. gutted but and <laughs> he was just wearing he was uh, <laughs> did Phil Pete Hines wear leather? Uh, I know I don't he I part he of just wore a button up shirt but um the um uh, Phil Spencer was just wearing like a like a cotton black um hoodie I think like a zip up hoodie but if you zoom in enhance that cotton is made of leather <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think it's a bingo I won. No, no one won. No one won. The drinking game. Because everyone no, had, a, had a drink. No, I won. No one won. No, that's why, that's why it's win. not bingo. Because this is... It says bingo on it. I know. Do you know what? Uh, okay, I so you, you know what? Point. I'll tell you what. If if you, I, you, yeah, you, I, you're not going to throw up a road cone. I don't want to do it. I'm too tired. If I throw up in a road cone... Then we would win one off bingoing uh, with the Final Fantasy uh, Part Two reveal. No, see that's bullshit because then what? Is that a line? Like yeah, but it, that's uh, no, the, because don't you get pockety? Middle, you get, yeah, but you, you don't get pockety, get pockety if you're by going default. from like straight down on the first row. Gus pukes whatever was taken drink Simpsons remastered Breath of the Wild. You need all five. Well, I'd be the most drunk. That's Thank true. you very much, Steph, and I agree. Uh, <laughs> all right, that was the E3 BP drinking card uh, available at all BPs via Uber Eats, so make sure to order your cheese. That segment is dead, <laughs> so title card us out, Pete. <laughs> 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 
That'll do as well. I deserve that so much. And like, <laughs> and <laughs> the reason it happens is because it, it, it's, it doesn't reset after I, I play it, and I have to kill it early. It would reset if it goes to the final frame, but it can't go no, to the final was, frame. No, no, don't you dare play it's it. We're not that's seeing that again. That's how that end. died. That needed to end like yeah. that. Oh, good, um, good. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching and hanging out with us tonight. Uh, feels good to just be able to like talk ages about video games and uh, and to be excited about a lot of stuff. Also, we're hitting the point of the year where lots of games are coming out. I have a huge like two playlist of things that I'm excited about talking about over the next few weeks yeah. before the, some of these E3 games start dropping as well. We hope that you enjoyed E3 and we hope you enjoyed this show. We have a Loki recap episode that will be up on the YouTube ASAP. That'll go up after this show. So okay, cool. Yeah, it's ready got any energy probably. or any fuel left in the tank, you can head to the YouTube channel and that'll go up there. <coughs> um, and are you streaming tomorrow? I'm streaming tomorrow. Uh, yep, so it'll be the fourth stream for me for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Uh, I'm at the Crystal Bashy bit. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. There, nice. I'm really pumped to get on with that section. So I would say sort of midday tomorrow, I'll be jumping on and streaming a little more Ratchet and Clank. Come join me. Have a laugh. Uh, and yeah, if you're playing have a it, cry. have a cry as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what to do. Sparky129 underscore official said, happy to have found this stream. We're happy you did as well, Sparky. Thank you very much. Welcome, Sparky. Welcome. Um, the, uh, and then we'll be back with news as a regularly scheduled on Monday. Will's doing uh, stuff over the weekend that you don't have anything to do with. I'm sure just Will's going to have a nice weekend. He's going to have a really nice weekend. He's going to have a really nice weekend. It's so nice. Um, I hope he does. I hope he does. I'm off getting tattoos tomorrow. Ooh. And that's exciting. So that's what I'm going to be spending my Friday. Debut on I'm the show tattooing. Next week. I'm, my debut tattoo It's tomorrow. very exciting. We'll be tattooing. I don't know who I'm I'm going to a clinic up in North Shore, uh, North Sydney. Yeah, yeah, They've yeah. They've asked me to have a crack at it on yep. someone who's yep. going to come in. So yep. we'll see what happens. Okay, good. Well, uh, we'll just see how that turns out. Um, <laughs> a little scared, that's true. Uh, and uh, we'll be back with World Back Pocket next Thursday. A big thank you to all of our mod team who do phenomenal work and, of course, to the Back Pocket patrons who make this show possible. All of you who subscribe to the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash backpocket or backpocket.gg. And particularly, uh, or not particularly, particularly... I think I think very particularly. Very particularly. I right. do too, and I don't even know it's okay. Okay, good. Him. Very particularly to our top stitches. <gasps> yeah. uh, Reese, Oranishi, exclamation mark, Tim, Mason, not Nathan, Slowpong, Loki Cat, Raj, Akarash, Cameo, uh, Camo, sorry, Avexia, Nagrotex, Boxy, the Coastal City, Max Chase Games, Vega Bus, A Timothy. We also need to open a new slot up because we do have something else that needs sponsoring, so we should talk about that. Uh, thank you very much to all of you for contributing so much uh, and being such an integral part of our show. We love you, we love all the patrons we love all the viewers and uh i'm done i'm done i can't feel my throat anymore oh, my belly. oh i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i should have tickled it i should have tickled it should have tickled it <laughs> Bye, right, everybody let's uh, back it out yep there's no, 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 did, we, no, no. did you say there's no post show I oh yeah i did say there's no post show it pete's on the verge of death gus is asleep <laughs> steph and i are just gonna get drunk i can't tonight. hear anything oh anymore. will's here too i'm happy i'm happy i'm gonna have a good weekend <laughs> <laughs> that, was so, that was so real good night everybody good night.